Hello. If you're watching this on YouTube, now is the perfect opportunity for you to click the little like button, give us the old subscribe, make sure you turn on that little bell so you never miss a single notification or episode. Tonight, we are playing yet again another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. Uh, while you do all of those sweet little check boxes and likings, uh, we heard that reading comments from the previous week's episode was very popular, so we're gonna do it again. So, here are some randomly selected comments from Once Upon a Witchlight episode 18. The first one, who could hate Torbeck? Clementine. <laughs> when Frost was thinking like Gricko and expected him to say something like, quote, what's that there? Let's get derailed by shenanigans for two hours. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I love y'all. Oh my God. Andy reading my comment when Torbeck is my favorite. Cry emoji, heart emoji. <laughs> quote, Gideon referring to Hootsie as their niece and being concerned for her safety is honestly making me far happier than it has any right to. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. a basic bitch for the founder family trope. What can I say? <laughs> what can you say? And then lastly, and most urgently, I can't breathe Lameo. <laughs> so, please, leave a comment and maybe you can be included next time. Also, be sure to check out our Patreon and our merch shop, which helps make all of this possible. Thank you. Would you like to roll that beautiful bean footage, Rich? Is that the cue? Like, should I hit it now? Or like, is there gonna... <laughs> that is the cue. That's the also, <laughs> Q is a letter has no right being in the box, yeah. <laughs> we already did that, Big Dad! <laughs> oh yeah, that's Once upon a witchlight hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite. The third, a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan. Her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings. A song of child, owl, and bear, a song that calls the spirits there. A song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass. Marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion. Each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl to inner strength and mind's recall. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witchlight hour. The four of you stand in the swamps of Hither. In front of you is the moving hill that you've been looking that you've been looking for. Telemy Hill, as it slowly moves on legs of roots. 
and you watch as the legs pierce into the muck and slowly settle as the hill stops, almost as if <clears throat> waiting for you, expecting you. But you are missing someone in your group. Where there are four, or where there are five, there should be six. And though help telling me Hill calls to you, all of you have traveled with Greco long enough, all but Twig. And you can sense his presence here as you look over Hootsie digging into the earth. Oh God, did he die here? Hootsie, what, do you have a scent? Uh, have you picked up on where Gricko is? He seems to not be in the, what, what, what is your focus? Uh, you hold, hold on, Hootsie. I don't want you to uncover your papa's corpse or nothing. I, I, why don't you just, just, just take a step back and, oh. and we'll, let's assess the situation, all right? Yeah, let us take a look at this. Don't uh, don't go digging around. Come on, Hootsie. Just, come on, like, do you right? really think he's dead? Well, I don't know if he's in the mug. Oh! It's not going to be good. Yeah, why don't you just kind of shuffle Hootsie away? All right, come on, Hootsie. Hop on up here. Let's go for a little, uh, let's do a little loop. <laughs> All right, Mr. Yeah, come Grammy, on. I'll start digging. <laughs> I'll assist. Oh, and then I would just go wherever you were kind of pointing at. To... You see mud just starting to get moved by an invisible hand. <laughs> I think Frost has a shovel on him. Oh, I just so keep going. I'm using my, I'm using my like ten foot long arms to like throw mud over my shoulders. You just feel around for a corpse down, man. If you want. Uh, uh, let me see if I do have a shovel. No, 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 no shovel. No. Um, I do no. have a ten foot pole, but not in my, <laughs> not in my backpack. <laughs> We can continue to dig and see if we can find out what Hootsie was searching for. Uh, for Roll a a nature check. (coughs) Both of them? No, Uh, just Derek, because of his 10-foot pole. (laughs) Uh, You may roll it at advantage as you're being helped by your friends. Uh, Torment is helping. (laughs) I definitely know lots about nature. Oh, <laughs> I got an eleven. He's not here. Uh, noted, Gricko. You feel your body change. <laughs> Where it had once been the body of a goblin is now this diminutive creature, this small mud created entity, a long spindly nose, uh, elongated um, fingers, long curled nails, ears that now point towards the sky. You are thin and tiny and made of mud. You feel your body change as you look around you and there are 10 of these mud methods that surround you. But three of them move forward to truly um, enclose you in them. And they use their <coughs> these long tendrils of mud to wrap around your wrists and essentially shackle you to them as they begin to pull you and start leading you through this murky, muddy hallway that is leading deeper and deeper into the earth. You notice these um, bugs that are embedded in the sides of the the hallway. Their their rumps are illuminated <laughs> with light, um, and they are. <laughs> you fucking stop! Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking I didn't look at them at first. I can't look. I'm trying to. Oh, yeah, trying to really be that's, I'm trying to be a dumb. Yeah. Trying to be a mud method. Yeah, he's really puckered up <laughs> for, for sloppy lock. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, but you uh, so I'm in an they, underground tunnel, like yes, a mud tunnel. Oh, that's you're amazing. in an underground mud tunnel as they begin <laughs> to as they begin to drag and pull you forward. Um, you hear them chittering and chatting to each other. There is a um, the three that surround you. One is um, one is significantly shorter than the others, quite a bit chunkier. Um, Another is much taller than all the rest and much more spindly. And then the last seems to be a little more buff. And uh, if mud methods could have pecs and six-pack abs, this one would. How tall, like, on average are they? 
Uh, I like are they super tiny? Do I have wings? You do have <gasps> wings. Uh, yes, they're super tiny. They okay. are, um, or they're small. Like okay. a mud imp. So that, not, probably not that much of a size difference yeah, if I'm small. Probably, a little bit smaller I would say than they're probably about two feet tall. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a little bigger, bit small. bigger than I would have yeah. guessed. Yeah. Thank you. And that, what, what do you do, Greco? <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to roll on the. Uh, <laughs> I would like to yep. Oh, <laughs> I feel like you see your own fate there. You Seven. Roll on the table. <sighs> it checks out. We're never getting out of this solo story. The rest of the night. <laughs> your okay. legs are asleep. Uh, I need you. I need you to roll. Um, so one is chunk. Two is tall, and three is small. Uh, so let's. <sighs> Four, five, and six. I need you to roll a d6 for me, please. Okay, d6. <laughs> Two. Uh, the tall mud method in front of you, the one that looks like an Adonis uh, of mud method, mud method dumb. You, you look at him and his rippling muddy abs. Nice. His firm buttocks mm. and his immaculate wingspan. And you fall madly in love. Nice. <laughs> and something has happened. Classic. Classic. Here we go. Are you down there? What's happened? <laughs> Uh, I was going to ask what happened to me. <laughs> but now I know it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah. Very Valentine's Day episode, by the way. Oh my oh. god. It's appropriate. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's dead, let's go. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Hootsie. We'll find him. Uh, how do you get those abs when you're made of mud? <laughs> <laughs> mud is surprisingly low carb. <laughs> I look down at my flabby mud body. <laughs> he. he uh. <laughs> He does seem to notice you as he turns to look at you. What are you talking about, bruh? <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. I do a lot of heavy lifting. We have to carry people like you all the time. Well, what? Seems unlikely. He also does a lot of silt ups. Yeah, ask him if his calves are natty. I don't care if your calves are natty. <laughs> you can lift me up. Why are you talking like that, bro? You've got a mouth. First day, mud mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just keep moving. You're day. slowing us down. You're harsh <sighs> my buzz. Mmm, buzz. I'll try to like flatten my wings. Ugh. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> God, I'm like super repulsed right now. Oh, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> I bet my eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> and it pops with each blink. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
I'm trying to be very seductive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll, um... It works. You succeed. Roll a performance check. And... I'm convinced. Uh, okay. Oh, no. You're about to be the first player in history to get triple disadvantage. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, he, he looks you over one more time. I don't know what's going on with you. Like you couldn't even get like a simple a simple riddle. It was mud pie, bruh. It was mud pie. Ah, oh, just so offensive, man. And now you're doing this. Like what even is this? Mud pie is not even a food. Like your lips aren't even goopy. Oh. You're just making it up. Oh. <laughs> you could talk like a normal person if you wanted to, but you're choosing not to. Well, you know. I just am trying to immerse myself <laughs> in the muddy role of my new life, our new life, together God, down just come here. come with us, right? You belong in the to muddy us tunnel now. together. <laughs> God, this one's so weird. Does this happen he looks. Little... He looks over to the small one. <coughs> Gloppy. This... Why did we get this guy? <laughs> and the small one looks over at all of you, or looks over, and he goes, "I don't know. I don't know where we got that one." Huh, <laughs> Gloppy, you always pick the, the stupid ones. <laughs> How am I going to have, like, my own nightdom as, like, king of the mud methods and shit if every single person that we take into mud methodness is something like this, Gloppy? I'm sorry. Oh, no. Ah, oh, come on. And he pulls on your reins and begins to drag you. Oh. <laughs> 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 we're lost. We're not finding uh, anything. Uh, eventually, you <sighs> find a an open hole. There's a <laughs> hole here. <laughs> uh, you know what? It we looks done. It looks Tonight's uh, session is very, open. very dirty. Torbeck, <laughs> Torbeck would like to dive head first into the hole. No, it's it's very, very dirty, dirty, but certainly someone's <laughs> been here before. Torbeck <laughs> wouldn't hesitate even for a single <laughs> second. I mean, it's filthy. <laughs> It only makes it more inviting. All right. Well, if you want to go, please be my guest. How large is the hole? I'm, I'm not playing D and D anymore. I've given up. <laughs> well, all we'll my just hopes sit here and dreams silent. are shattered. Glopper, you son. <laughs> uh, the hole looks like it would fit. Um, it's it's a large hole. Uh, covered in brown goop. Um, there are bits of spindly moss creeping out of the dark crevices. Um, and it's about three feet wide. Oh, so it would be tough for me to probably... It wouldn't be easy for me to to get all the way in, but I would immediately be like, oh, Tormex people! And try to shove my head into the hole and, like, see how deep and, like, far I could, like, see what's going on we in there. We finally get to use the squeezing rules. <laughs> <laughs> There's a... This, 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 this. I'm not gonna be using the squeezing rules. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will say it's easy enough for you to do that. Um, you, you squeeze in. This is a swamp, so it's... It's still murky. There's there's liquid um, in the edges of this fucking hole. <laughs> Is it perhaps a gap? Uh... Tunnel! It is a tunnel. Uh, and, and you are able to squeeze oh, your way in a bit. Um, enough that you do see that this, this tunnel is a fuck what? No. She's making me laugh. I'm not doing anything. I don't do nothing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do nothing. <laughs> do we need to shake our willies out? Love you. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm living my best mud method life. I'm fine. I'm not going to last. 
Mason's <laughs> like, I, I don't know. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. We rescue the Grico, we kill the Mephit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to do it. So, oh no! no. We it's, killed seven we, muffins. We it, grew up. It's it's a uh, what is it? A record scratch? Well, you're probably wondering how I come into that situation. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> your own senses made us cut it. But it was a daring caper, and the lads rescued me. You don't need to know nothing else. We never spoke of it again. Corbeck, <laughs> you you wedge yourself into this tunnel far enough that you are able to see that it illuminates, that there are some form of lantern uh, in this tunnel. And you see the moving shadows of what appear to be, um, actually, you see the way the shadows play on the walls Mm. of this tunnel. And it is very clear that there are 10, maybe even 20 giant creatures with massive wingspans making their way down this tunnel. Um, How a- they could possibly fit in here. It, it, it is clear to you in this moment that this tunnel must get much larger. And if you could just find a way to dig maybe five feet into this, you'd be able to reach that opening. Um, these entities must have Griko. I uh, I will be pulling myself in the tunnel. I'll be oh. saying, Griko, is that you? <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm gonna be sick. Oh, frost, frost, eat her out, eat her out. Either pull, pull Torbeck out or push him all the way through. Quick, there's giant creatures. Oh, frost. <laughs> I just and used my mage see, hand to punch you through. All you see is Grica, or um, Torbeck's ass. Yeah, yeah. Sticking out of this I'm tunnel in the muck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, his, his legs wings. are kicking this way and that. Mm-hmm. Um, he is very clearly struggling. You can see the way that the earth is kind of moving on either side of him as he's thrashing around and the uh, the water mixed with the muck is almost creating uh, like a quicksand effect oh. as the earth kind of jiggles We're, around him. Torbeck is panicking! Relax, relax your muscles. Relax your muscles for a moment, Torbeck. I can't! Torbeck is panicked! Torbeck Fail the saving throw. <laughs> Uh, uh, if you fail the saving throw, I telekinetically shove you five feet. I absolutely have no, I, I, I there would be no save. I would fail immediately because I'm not even focused on it. Uh, I use my psionic <laughs> point to, uh, push his entire entity five feet. No! Torbeck spine! <laughs> Torbeck is wedged in this tunnel. Oh. This tunnel is much smaller than Torbeck is. Oh. Oh, that made it he, worse. he was able to get himself in and create a little cavern, but mm. the area that surrounds Surrounding him, there are some gnarled roots, oh. um, and so there's a lot of pressure there. Torbeck is and quickly so you, developing you do trivia. use your psionic power to push him forward, but it is not five feet. It is like the cork on a wine bottle. Oh. As you <laughs> propel Torbeck forward, Torbeck, you feel your arms just slicing through the muck and the mud as you propel down this tunnel, expecting yourself to to land into an open chamber where you can see these gigantic entities, but what you find is that you are sliding through this tunnel, and you like a bowling ball into bowling pins, you slam into what is clearly 11 of these spindly mud methods. And they splay out all over the place. You hear them yelling and and (laughs) screaming and um, the wings are flapping and they are pressed up against the, you're you're quite large for this space. And as you shoot in through them, they give you enough friction to keep you from propelling forward. You are plastered into this tunnel with 11 mud mud methods stuck up against the side of the tunnel uh, between you and the walls. No, where's Torment? No, 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 I've seen a documentary about this. This is going to be good. Torbeck thinks Torbeck is about three inches shorter. What's down there? I didn't break your spine, did I? (laughs) No, Frost, Frost, help, Frost. You listen for Torbeck's voice, and all you hear is pop. The sound of um, bubbling mud. I'm not getting my rope dirty. (laughs) (laughs) You, don't look. you can't be fucking see. Are you going to go in after him? Torbeck. Uh, our friends are in danger. 
you are stuck in this situation, but standing in front of you is an incredibly buff mud method. Oh. <laughs> he looks at you and he says, Hey, uh, welcome to our tunnel. Oh, uh, thank you for welcoming Torbeck. What's my favorite food, bruh? What is your favorite food? Yeah, bruh, what's my favorite food? <laughs> Uh, do I hear this? Uh, uh, you do, but <laughs> you are you are stuck between Torbeck's haunch and the wall, and you can mumble, but everything you say is completely muffled. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Tor- Torbeck is trying not to have a panic attack. Uh, did Torbeck ask a question first? You know, this is the Mud Method Kingdom. Um, I'm uh, King Muck. And oh. this is my kingdom, the kingdom of Muckington. Oh. <laughs> so anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of mud. So you can answer however you choose, but I may choose to use it as your answer to my question. Uh, all right. You know uh, what I'm saying? You held against Torbeck like a beautiful lady. Oh, we've got beautiful ladies. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh all right, Torbeck. <laughs> Torbeck will answer your question. Oh. Torbeck, uh, your favorite food, mud meth. Well, no, my favorite food's not a mud method. Oh no, I'm, that's wrong. Torbeck bro. was Torbeck was thick. <laughs> Immediately, you feel the power of the mud method as your body begins to shrink and twist and contort. You know what? But I need you to roll a d6 for you to determine what kind of t- like what your mud method looks like. Oh, he's pulling me with him. <laughs> okay. Your your mud method is short, but stout. If if mud methods could be dwarves, that's what you would be. You have a long oh. muddy beard that comes out of your face. Your wings are thick and chunkier. They're not as widespread, but they're they're bigger. Than the others. Does my voice relatively stay the same? Like when it I still. It can be whatever you want okay. as long as it's not over what the fuck might be. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, I guess Torvac would be like face it down in the mud, having shrunk. And all of the mud methods have now fallen down, and they're they're pulling themselves out of the muck and the mud as they stand up. And once again, um, Greco, you feel them pulling on their. Um, their mud leads and uh, pulling you to your feet. Still in captivity. was <laughs> mud pie, apparently. <laughs> Torbeck doesn't understand what happened to Torbeck. <laughs> Standing over you, this mud method uh, looks down and he. Um, kicks you lightly with his foot. <clears throat> um, so, bro, no. what are you doing walking around in mud method territory not even knowing, like, <laughs> our ways? Torbeck uh, was just looking for his friend. I'm sorry, what? Torbeck was looking for his friend. <laughs> oh. I would do that. Why would you think that your friend's, like, here, are you friends with mud methods? Like, you don't even know our favorite food. You think they were cannibals, bruh? For the record, Torbeck was gonna guess just mud. Torbeck likes to eat Dude. mud occasionally. Mud would have been so close. I might have accepted it, like, to be fair. Oh, no, uh, if Torbeck, it's me. Uh, prisoner, can you, like, <laughs> what? What? Prisoner, can you like not talk? I am hanging out with this like really cool method that's gonna be like one of my high end. Like, no, he, in my he, he's spoken for by Clementine. No, I think this is my friend Greco. Uh, it, Greco, uh, is that you? It's Greco. No, no, don't fuck this up for me, Torbeck. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Uh, you're harshing my mud vibe. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, Torbeck came all the way here looking for you and got turned into this. And you say that Torbeck is harsh in your vibe? What <laughs> I'm saying. Is there a source of water anywhere nearby? <laughs> um, we'll drown him out. <laughs> roll a survival check. Um, you are Seven. standing there saying this, and you feel yeah. the firm hand of Muck on your shoulder. I don't know why you're bothering talking to this chump. Like, he's totally not cool. Like, you're such a rad dude. You're, like, totally groovy, man. Like, why would you hang out with someone like this when you could be, like, my second in command? Second in command? What's your name? Like, look at your pecs, bro. And he slaps you on the peck. You you feel the mud shift for a second, but they're pretty stout. Stout like a mud dwarf. Mr. King Mud Method, I... If there's a position open, uh, Torbeck was once royalty for a few hours. I knew I sensed royalty in you, bro. Uh, I knew it. All right, we're not going to mud chain you. Uh, we're totally going to let you walk with us like one of us. Wait, why would you? Torbeck, thanks you. Torbeck is super Look, appreciative. We're talking right now, all right? Like weird muck face guy. Glad by mud name. <laughs> You know, I'll we'll give you a mud name. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> you got him, King Mud Method. You got like him, gross. Like, that's what I thought. Uh, oh, I've been transported to an '80s movie of mud creatures. <laughs> uh, mud bullies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will. I will address your role in a second. You were getting naked, and doing what? I was just taking off the robe. I'm mm-hmm. keeping my, the rest of my clothes on and my shoes on, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> you can go for all you can. You can go anyway. Um, I. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to go, to go down there. Uh, Kremmy Gideon, I think that I'm gonna have to go down there and see if I can rescue my friends. I don't know if you are able to fit through, but I'm live and I can squeeze through, I think. No, haven't you heard stories about someone gets in trouble and then the friend goes in and tries to help and then they die, and then the next friend tries to go and help and then they die, and the next friend goes to help and they die? I think, look, this is probably a lost cause. I hate to cover Hootsie's ears. They're probably dead, Frost. If I have to, I'll be able to use my abilities to escape the hole. Hey, well, how come you uh you uh, thought it would made sense to murder Torbeck and then take all your clothes off? <laughs> hmm? What? How come you killed Torbeck, buried him in the ground, and then just stripped naked? Is this some kind of weird new thing you do? Yeah, you broke his spine, apparently, as far as I yeah, heard. Yeah, shot him out uh, uh, my spine, and then he shot him. <laughs> I, I think he's alive down there. You can't hear that faint whispering? Do I hear any faint whispering? There's like bubbling and, and sounds. Well, there were bubbling and sounds, but it sounded like the it sounded like the swamp bubbling and popping as oxygen rises up out of the muck. Even more reason for me to go. Uh, I think they're still alive, and I'm responsible for it now. No, no. Look, whenever Meemaw had a rat problem, what we do is we flood the tunnels, and <laughs> if they had a way out, then you know they'd sneak up and we'd just take them out. <laughs> or if they didn't have a way out, they'd drown. <laughs> Listen, guys, we gotta get Gricko back, man. Just look at it. We can't raise Hootsie. Are you kidding me? We've never been to a rat casino. I don't know anything about going to school. I'm not gonna risk- do this, man. I'm not risking drowning them. Get down in that hole, you weird naked no. cat. We find a source of water. We flood the hole. It's sink or swim. If, if he doesn't come out, he was already dead. Well, one of you hold my pack. It's a bad Are you idea. handing us your backpack or something else? My backpack. I don't know. It's my. It's got my robe and everything that's important to me. All right. Well, my hands. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you carry all this shit with you? Yes, it weighs <laughs> eleven pounds. Oh, oh it's actually that's another. Oh no, it weighs seventy-four pounds. <laughs> You are now three inches shorter. <laughs> Your spine compresses. Uh, you are uh, ready for it. I feel so nimble. Oh, <laughs> it's it's like a yeah. Yeah. He, he takes the backpack off. I'll save them. <laughs> Forgive me, master. <laughs> this one time, let me go all out. Uh, I'm going to knock down at me. Uh, master Roshi, I'm sorry. I have to. I uh, <laughs> am going to focus myself psionically. Uh, if I don't come back in a few minutes, then... 
I guess you make your own choices. Yeah, no, we're going to get out of here. We're yeah. going to do our best raising Hootsie. I mean, I, we can't go to heaven. You don't make it. Oh, what? We'll find something to do with them. <laughs> what? I'm sure you would both make a and great pair of raising Hootsie. <laughs> and I jump into the hall. <sighs> You jump into the hole. You are significantly smaller than Torbeck, and you are able to squeeze yourself through this three foot I'll hole cast lead fairly and easily. The whole thing. And I um, was psionically focusing to cast uh, the cantrip resistance on myself. <laughs> um, so I get plus one d four on a saving throw if that should happen. Perfect. And you, so you are you are able to make your way through this hole, um, and it does not take you that long as you're sliding down this tunnel until you come upon a scene that is very strange to you. <clears throat> you see a group of 12 mud methods. One of them is significantly taller and much more uh, yoked than the others as it looks down on a, <clears throat> a short but stout mud method that very clearly facially <clears throat> resembles Torbeck. Oh, I get that right and, away. Oh, yeah. It's terrific. Um, and in the midst of the rest of them, you see entangled in ropes of mud and vines is a chonky, um, goopy method that clearly has Gricko's nose. Yeah, he's really embraced this. Okay. <laughs> um, the <laughs> Torbeck and the... The taller mud method seem to be embroiled in a in a conversation. They are what what appears to be creating a, a handshake. <laughs> oh no, dude! I don't like the way it sounds when we snap, though. Oh, it's okay. We're not married to the snap. We can change it. But keep going, dude. Torbeck, do you want to yeah. do that thing where yeah. we like slam our chests yeah. up against each other? And go. Oh. Yeah, Torbex always wanted to do this. Okay. All right, I'm going to go to this part of the tunnel. You go to that part. Right. Let's run to each other right. and then we'll just slam. I'm ready. I'm ready. Torbex ready. ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, no, 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 no. Torbex, do we do it on a count of three or like, do we do one, two, three, then we go? No, Torbex just wants to do this. I know. All right, go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, this is what you're watching. Uh, it's like two uh, water balloons colliding and operating. <laughs> <laughs> I will um I'll, I'll slink back. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hide a little bit in the shadows and observe for about a moment longer to make sure I'm truly confident Torbeck and, and Grico have been transformed into these creatures. But I wanna hide, I wanna steal. Uh roll stealth. Uh, <laughs> Can I push this? Oh, yeah, you twist you can. yeah, you can. Well, we can always use two twists to cancel whatever you get. Yeah, oh, can you use yeah. two twists to cancel my love of, of this guy? Because Gricko's <laughs> heartbroken. Gricko's <laughs> heartbroken. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Right, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's roll the dice. We spend three. again. I can't take two. Uh, I get a. We can, we can uh, always <laughs> cleanse them. Yeah, but oh, it was it's three to cleanse. You got me. I get an eleven stealth. Okay, but I, you did I, use a twist. Feeling exp- I did use a. I did use a. T- I rolled two fives. Okay, um, <laughs> roll roll a d one hundred for me. <clears throat> oh, but there's so many options. <laughs> I'll take a ninety three. Mm-hmm. You jam. So so jam. So nice. So nice. So nice. So, so jam. jam. Your knees become fused. You lose the ability to run. <laughs> Oh God! Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll have to worry about that later. <laughs> <laughs> but do I get a sense that they've noticed my my arrival? Um, as you say, oh, we'll have to worry about that later. Yeah. Three of their heads turn, oh, no. and they begin to let out this gurgling, mucky yell, yeah. and you immediately. <laughs> Immediately see, you feel the hand on your shoulder. <clears throat> Torbeck, it <clears throat> looks like we've got some kind of intruder. Oh, oh my god! Torbeck, we'll deal with it! Oh. I'm gonna start marine crawling out the Immediately, the side this, of the wall. Um, this mud method begins to walk towards you. He's flexing his muscles. He's doing this, he's doing the volleyball oh. as he walks towards you. And he gets right up into your face. 
<laughs> What's my favorite food? No, 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 no. What is your favorite food? No, 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 no. Yeah, bro. No, no, no. What's my favorite food? Torbeck is signaling over behind no, the no, Mud no. Method Kings and trying to mimic Mud Pie horrifically. <laughs> it looks like performance yeah. check at disadvantage. Yeah, he, it looks like roast beef. He's just yeah, he's just like stuffing his face and like picking up dirt and like trying to get frost attention. You said perform? Oh god, performance? Yeah. Five. Oh great, <laughs> you're. You're, you start to listen to what Gricko is saying to you, no. but you, your eyes are drawn to what Torbeck's doing, and Gricko's words are drowned out by this horrific dancing that that uh, Torbeck is doing, and oh, uh, no. he seems to be miming the words. Um, hmm. He actually mimes dirt buns. <laughs> I'm like rubbing mud on my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> he perfectly mimes the number pie, but <laughs> doesn't get it. That's, that's pretty fucking. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what's my favorite food, bruh? It's not something stupid and obvious like mud pie, is it? <laughs> what do you mean, stupid and obvious? <laughs> Like, yeah, it totally is. Have you oh. ever had it? Uh, no, I, I'm not made of mud, and I don't, and I don't oh. crave um, food that's bad. But, we, but we, what? Like, I don't, We're I don't, not fucking cannibals, bro. Yeah, but look at you. <laughs> you eat something called mud pie? I don't, I don't eat tabaxi salad. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Torbeck's okay. eyes get a little You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna let slide the fact that you're totally being, you're harshing my vibe. Yes. You're wheezing, but I'm gonna let you wheeze on my juice. So. <laughs> you're, you're, what? what, what? <laughs> yeah. No, we're, gonna, we're gonna munch on some grindage. Or, uh, you have, I believe you've transformed my friends here <laughs> into creatures like yourself. Is that a fair assessment? <laughs> 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 Can you un uh, messy them? Uh, uh, yeah, for sure. One of them looks very goopy, and the other one looks very uh, mucky. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, no, I totally could. So we're gonna. I'm gonna let you ease on my juice. We're going to munch in some grindage. Mm -hmm. You're gonna come with me to the castle, all right? Mm -hmm. And what? we're gonna chill because um, you got the answer right. So you're like friends. You're friends of us now. Oh. You hear a voice in your mind, Kremmy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst, but they're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and this is and also you. my fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm contractually obligated. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking legs again, Remy. Why does this keep happening? Uh. Is it the shoes? Are they cursed? <laughs> Bad news, they're alive. Uh, yeah. uh, All right, oh. so. Clearly, something's going on with your legs. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to mud rope you, like totally friendly, like. Wait, I don't want to be transformed into some weird creature like yourself. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa! I'm a muffet. Oh. I'm a muffet, man. Wait, wait, Mr. Mud King, Mud Muffet. Um, Torbeck, your number two right hand. Torbeck is gonna vouch for this strange creature. He, there's no need to to mud bondage him. How are we gonna get him in the castle, bruh? He can't walk down there on his own when his legs are all fused together like that. I'm sure he can walk. It's probably just not very quick. All right, I guess we won't mud rope you then. All right, let's go, guys. And they all start to move. Wait, wait. Oh. Uh, what is your name? Sir? King Muck. Uh, King Muck, uh, counter offer. Uh, <laughs> you let my friends go after restoring them to their former selves. <laughs> Why? 
because uh, they will almost certainly doom your kingdom. Uh, the, we, ah. we, we, we've been fleeing for, for such a long time. Going whoa, from, whoa, 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 what? Oh, we, we, anytime we enter a duchy or a kingdom, no. uh, it collapses, and it's almost 100% of the time due to the curse that has uh, 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 taken over my, my two friends here. That's why we're, we're, we're seeking healing. You, you have to let us go. Yo, Soppy, did you hear that, bro? Yeah? Frost Deep, no, that's not what happened. Torment that's, we haven't you. entered a single duck scene. Okay, this guy totally seems like a liar. <laughs> so I'm feeling like you might be telling the truth. Give me one second. No! Gloppy, no. do you think this could be the truth, bro? Frost, that's you do? ridiculous. All right. We need to talk. Come with me to my kingdom. Frost. We'll sit down in the throne room. We'll have a quick chat about what. Ha- Wait, hold on. If he goes to my kingdom, does he like curse it immediately by like being in the presence? Oh, just of my by castle? entering the kingdom, it's uh, it's doomed. Less than a week. Uh, as soon as he enters the kingdom, seven days later, it topples. I have really virile sperm. Mm-hmm. What? Like, this ruin my ability to like propel my line forward is like the mud. I don't know why we've gone to this topic. So anyway, kid, look, we're not going to sell it for food. I mean, look, if they're gone, what? we can we can just forget all about this, all right? We'll let them find a way out of the Feywild. And, uh, you know, I, you know I, 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 I can busk on the street corner with Hootsie, and she can dance, and you can drive uh, your wagon for Gruber. He pays pretty well. And, and look, we're, we're going to pay back Mr. Guru. Just forget about all of this that has ever happened. We're going to be okay. Hootsie's going to be okay. We should get the fuck out of here. Crammy, I didn't want to tell you this, man. She ain't that good at busking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never afford college. We'll never pay off Mrs. Guru. A sad piano player. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why we always ended up robbing everybody? I think it's part of the reason we're in immense, immense <laughs> debt. Yeah. You know, it's compound. Fe- oh, hold on. Wait, Frost, really? Can, 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 I, can I? Wait, what's he saying? What's he saying, man? How's he doing? Did he find them? They were alive. <laughs> Why did he? Oh. Yeah. Why did he sound disappointed? I mean, he, he sounds real disappointed. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Frost. So, yeah. my guess is that it's not they're alive in like quotation marks. I'm sure that there's some kind of catch. And uh, can I, I? I try to think real hard and focus to try to talk to Frost with my mind. You are capable, once the channel is open, to respond to me. Oh. Uh, Frost, is this thing on? Over? <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being distracted by the virality of a mud creature talking about a semen. What the fuck are you talking it, about? It's just the worst friend. Of <laughs> so are they alive or not? Uh, they are, but they've been transformed into uh, <clears throat> clay, muddy, soggy, grubby, goopy, foul, messy, untidy creatures. Uh, hey, Twig. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you undo gr- groupy, gloppy, floppy, muddy creatures if Torbeck and Gricka were transformed into such well, beings? That depends. Maybe. <laughs> All right, Frost. Could you just maybe snatch them up and we'll just try to figure this out? I'm gonna try not to touch them as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess what's stopping y'all from leaving? Well. <laughs> 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 you're, not, you're never gonna believe this. There's just no other way to say it. Oh, oh, Try me, Frost. <laughs> my fucking leg. Again? I don't what, know what's, what's happening. Again? What's happening? Is oh, your pants? <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. His, his fucking legs <laughs> they must have fused together again. Oh, my God. <laughs> again? Oh, yeah, again. Oh, God. I can't take 10 steps separated. <laughs> <laughs> Better not be foreshadowing for some really tragic shit later in this campaign. I think it's a contractual obligation. That's right. Um, so, I mean, can you resolve this? Or do you need help of some kind? I mean, they seem pretty stupid. I think I can resolve it. I, it's just the worst. <laughs> All right. Well, just. I don't know. Let us know if you need help, I guess. Yeah, you, if you don't hear from me in five minutes, do the drowning thing. I think my pocket watch out. <laughs> So let's start the time. Synchronizing watches. Uh, 
us! <laughs> I've got Dormac vouch for you. Please don't mess us up for Dormac. This is a second chance to become royalty. This doesn't happen more than once in a lifetime. You will still be royalty if you come with me. If you accept the position, you don't have to stay with the kingdom. We can carry on. So, you didn't answer the question that I had about my sperm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mud pie. <laughs> oh, Let me guess. You're yeah. King Muck, and you like to fuck. <laughs> um, what? So like, I didn't want to say it out loud, because like, I don't want to be judged, mm. you know? I'm a virgin. Why are you telling me? <laughs> Frosty! Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, because you said, you asked, mm-hmm. like, but the thing is, like, I know I have virile sperm because I've tested it. Yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> As you can see, my legs are closed. <laughs> Frosty, Look. tell Crummy to drown. <laughs> tell Uchi I love her very much. The water can't come faster. Can't, can't come soon enough, Frigo. I'm simply telling you this because you're telling me there's a curse upon my kingdom. And the only thing that completely destroy my kingdom mm. and my reign mm. would be if I can't have kids. Mm. If I can't produce an heir, yeah. how am I supposed to be a king? Oh! So you're telling me <laughs> oh, no. that standing next to this guy, mm. having him within my kingdom, is going to make, like, my mutts shrivel up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I... I can help you save your kingdom. No, 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 no. It, it, the, the, the mere fact of his proximity puts your 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 uh, mud balls in danger. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I do I still have my druid powers? Um. <clears throat> Mm, I'm gonna say no for the sake of the you're you're now just you're transformed into a mud method because you did fail the the mud method question. I, it, you have passed my test, King Mark. <laughs> I oh my god, it certainly makes sense. He I, is like this because he's got a filthy curse on him. It was a test. <laughs> You have passed and unlocked my true form. And I will give you the secret of siring an air. I thought you said he was going to stop me from siring. Did you there. listen to his advice? That's when the doom begins. You know what? We're going to go. You must fuck it so. <laughs> you take. Whoa, bro. <clears throat> We're going to go. A diet you are not of frozen peas. <laughs> Do you hear me? You're a friend, and you're a friend, but you keep that guy away. Well, they would okay. Allow us to exit. Go. Ah, the mud, the Stop it! Stop it! He's starting to talk. I feel him shriveling up, bro. Get him out of here. Come, come along. Uh, a feast I'm of frozen out. peas upon your heart. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm trying out, bro. Get him out. Uh, uh, you, 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 got, you got less a than a minute. Of get him out before we kill him. Come on, Let's Frost. Come, come on, come on, come on. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Uh, go, uh, leave Do not ever I'll be right. Back. I'll be right behind you. Go through all the curse of growth. Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, make sure they go first. <laughs> you do. <laughs> the mud methods. You have known to call for excellence. Back. I'm like trying to drag Grigo to the best track. of my ability. Uh, <laughs> no, Grigo, only but you gross. don't. You can't use your legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like army just crawl. marine crawl, like army crawl. But how like, do you do that backwards? Just push up the hill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay. 
it's probably exhausting, but it, it is exhausting, that. and it definitely takes much longer than five minutes. It's tough on the shoulders. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Uh, if if they make it back in five minutes, awesome, and uh, I will eventually. Uh, it, don't drown me! Don't drown me! No. <laughs> Remember the name of Gross uh, I'll be King Mock. I'll be longer than five minutes. Don't drown me! No, nope. right, right at five minutes, you see Gringo's head, and you're already <laughs> pouring <laughs> the water. <laughs> Wait, no, it's Gringo. Huh? Uh, no, that's it. Five uh, minutes. Hey, get I back out. Took his pole out of his bag. <laughs> get back down in there, you fuck. Oh, oh, hey, Gringo. <laughs> Does it look like Rigo? Does it look like Rigo? Oh, frozen peas upon your houses. No gods or kings. Only grow. As we get and and Rigo is saying this standing at the outside, standing at your feet. Um, he's just standing there, this chunky mud method just standing there shouting into a hole. You can finally see at this point uh, Frost's shoes. His favorite shoes. He doesn't go anywhere without these shoes. He, he doesn't even take them off when he sleeps. Um, he probably does. Uh, his shoes are there. It's us! It's us! It's us! It's very clearly your friends. Uh, no, don't! Not Mr. Oh, Corby, no! All right, fellas, get up here. Oh! 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 How is that? Oh, oh, what the twig? Oh, why was all you, of this a man? Why are you horrible <laughs> mud monsters suddenly? <laughs> it's called mud methods. Hey, why are you horrible mud methods? What are you doing? Uh, we we were just walking in methods. I Tor Torbeck <laughs> accidentally accused them of cannibalism and then turned into this. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I think that's what happens when you do that. Gross has something to say. <laughs> you can buy my popsicle anywhere. Is he, is he gross? I don't Are know, gross? man. I mean, he looks pretty gross to me. No, Rico. That's Wait. gross. What'd they do to him? How come you're kind of normal, but just a, you know, mud dwarf, but well, he's like, you know, fucking weird again for, and also mud. For what it's worth, they told Tormek that he could talk totally normal, but for some <laughs> reason, Grico just keeps talking like that. No. <laughs> well, that was awful. <laughs> it smelled oh, like gross. method down there. <laughs> what happened to your legs? Oh. It happens. Do you want me to fix it for you? Oh, please. Here's an almond. It's a Jordan almond. <laughs> oh, shit. It's all the mud. <laughs> oh, almond joy. <laughs> it's a little old. I've had it for 14 years. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> but almonds don't go bad, right? Am I going to get that disease that I don't know the name of? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! The disease frosty doesn't even do. Uh, I, 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 I always get get it confused with the mono ultra microscopic silicone kind of Me too. Yeah. Oh, no, can you no. fix them? Your legs should be okay now. Oh, thank you. Uh, fix them. Uh, can you please? I don't know off. if I can. Please. Oh. <laughs> so we can just get oh. out on the hill. It's like walking away. No, I mean. go. <laughs> Only grow. <laughs> Fix them, 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 fix has the windows in the outside that is clearly the inn at the end of the road. And she opens the top of it and she rifles around in her cabinets. Nope, not you. She pulls out a nine millimeter and kind of <laughs> <laughs> I can't I have a problem for solution. Prepare to make it. Just look at the sunrise. <laughs> it's the end of the departed. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Gross is gonna get Charlie Sheen. <laughs> uh, and she she does eventually find a small vial of a swirling silver liquid. Um, yep, I think this is the one. I thought I had another one in here. Um, well, 
only have one hmm. that will get one of them back to normal. What is this solution? Oh, it comes from some of the mushrooms around the swamp. Hmm. Both of them do, actually. This one will get one of them back to exactly the way they were before all of this happened. Mm -hmm. This one, however, will get them better than they are now. Well, Torbeck <laughs> already knows he's not going to get picked. <laughs> Could we, like, combine them and split them in half? No, man, I said we give the one that gets him all the way back to Gricko, because he, oh, he gets, like, see? a bump on his knee, and he goes out of control. Uh, Torbeck just hates being himself, so leave him mud. Let hey, we're going to need the other one for him. We will solve like mud men. <laughs> what does that mean? We will draw straw. Oh. <laughs> We could try and combine them, but if we do that, there's only a certain percent chance either one of them will go back to normal. I like those rocks. <laughs> Torbeck's terrible at math, and even he thinks that's an awful idea. No, uh, do you have the potion for one and then the nine millimeter for the other? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's a nine millimeter? 45 caliber. Does any of that ring a bell? <laughs> 45 cowbellers. Oh my god, it's this desert eagle. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you guys talking about? Uh, <clears throat> <sighs> Alright, let's... Uh, <clears throat> what are the odds on that? One's 100%, the other one's... <clears throat> just give it to me. Explain the math, and I don't want to. Just, uh, I, I would propose that we give Grigo the full solution. I no, Grigo. He's probably still going to smack his lips, but <laughs> only Grigo. Please, Torbeck won't be very different if he stays muddy. Um, she hands you Frost the, oh. the pure solution to give to Grigo. Grigo. <laughs> I saw the fly away. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Grigo, you look like the gargoyle from that Disney film. Uh, I'm losing to a bird. <laughs> <laughs> and I tumble into your potion. Uh, do I drop the potion or do I, do I have the dexterity to pour it into his mouth real fast? Do you have the dexterity to pour it into his mouth real fast? There you go, there you go. Yeah. Nice, Draco. Nice, yes. it, it tastes very pungent and earthy, but you immediately feel your body changing, and where there had been a mug method, there is now Greco. I blink and just like dirt, it like crumbles off. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You feeling better? Now I know what <clears throat> pottery feels like. <laughs> Um, Torbeck, are you ready? Yeah, as ready as Torbeck can be. Here we go. I, it's like a little while. Mm -hmm. Torbeck puts the entire thing in his mouth and starts chomping down on the glass. <laughs> 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 I'm having a good idea. It's going please straight please into his blood. It's a little bit of blood. <laughs> 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 You could have just drank that, Torbeck. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, I hope it doesn't have some sort of uh, horrible reaction with the other magical material inside of your body and it has some sort of explosion. Um, can you please roll a d4? A d4? Yes. Actually, uh, can you, before you tell me what that is, roll a d100. Yes. Oh. I got a 58 on the d100 and a 3 on the D4. 58 and 3. You feel your body begin to change. And you are elongating. You are growing taller. You are okay. clearly no longer a mud method. Yes. Your skin begins to turn a a soft pumpkin orange. Your hair is no longer all over your body like it was when you were a bugbear, but wow. now it is piled atop your head in a mess of twisting vines and beautiful, beautiful red and gold leaves. Your eyebrows are interspersed with moss. Um, looking down at your spectacular physique, you see oh, bit, yes. bits of lichen and fungus uh, as you <clears throat> transform into an autumn Aladrin. Yeah, what did you guys do for that one? <laughs> 
<laughs> we have not gotten that one yet. <laughs> we have gotten Oh, that. we did. It was the <laughs> I was <laughs> from. Just leave this bananas. Ah, bananas. <laughs> it was, oh, I was, yeah. I was coming yeah. from the realm of spirit Halloween. Yeah, you're the, you're the Halloween. Uh, Cobweb <laughs> gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will do my best to be from, from spirit of Halloween. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I change. Oh, Torbeck likes where this is going! <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. When I, uh, oh no. This is somehow oh, uh, Torbeck. Oh, I don't I'm know. sorry, all I had was Oberyn's Bane. Uh, well, uh, uh. The, my crippling guilt uh, makes me feel obligated to say, can we like look around and find some of the mushrooms so you can brew another potion? That would have been a great idea! Good! Oh. Hootsie! I'm surprised I didn't oh, think yeah. about it. Oh yeah, Hootsie, go oh, get him! Oh, he's back to I the thought I was going to be a, a horrible, mind broken mud monster forever. Oh, I'm so glad I was saved by Uncle Frosty and Torbeck was there. Um, <laughs> I just can't believe how much he wanted to talk about his semen. Guys, I gotta say. Wait, what are you talking about? He had a navy down there? <laughs> oh, uh, that's he, what he was talking yeah, about. Yeah, he was he had a kingdom. He must have been. It must have been a, oh <laughs> of course. So I could have been ships. I can't yeah, could have been his lord of ships. Yeah. I completely missed the, the what he was talking about. That's wild. What did you think he was talking about? Uh something else. Uh, can I have my <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my pack? <laughs> yeah, get this thing away from me. Fuck. Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> lads. Uh, you know, I'm sorry for getting us into that caper. You know, I was... There was some bubbling and I got excited. I was expecting clam and I got a muddy tunnel instead. Well, the next time the mud method asks you what its favorite food is, you say mud pie. It's not even a food. I was trying to introduce him to the delightful confection. <laughs> you don't know anything about Dune mud and worms. You don't know anything about med muffet, uh, mud method, uh, uh, yeah. med muffet. That's funny. <laughs> you don't know anything about mud method, uh, uh, anatomy. Perhaps they consume mud and it's not can cannibalism to them. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. Well, I just want to go meet Jingle Dangle. Ooh. The hill's walking away, so... It's not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's just right there. I don't know how you missed it. Oh, no, I did. I saw it. I was like, oh, hey, lads, get over here. I found exactly where we needed to go. Oh, where's my cotton candy? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's been destroyed like a raccoon in a water bath. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! I was saving that for Hoochie. But at least, at least you're reunited and back to your original form, and Torbeck seems more pleased with you. <laughs> <laughs> Torbeck does he, does he really? Oh, instead of, uh, instead of like witch light pumping through your tubes, it's like. Cotton esque cobweb. <laughs> Honestly, I find this voice to be less annoying than Torbex, so I'm I'm comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Do we need to do anything before we get to the? Do you know anything about uh, uh, Telemy Hall? Uh, no. <laughs> that, that, that's pretty funny. <laughs> the kingdom that sits atop Telemy Hill. Yeah. So the entire hill is, well, Telemy Hill. And it's a sentient hill. Okay. But it can't speak because it's a hill. Okay. So it uses the will o wisps. Why did I say that? It used the weeping willows mm. that are on it to speak for it. And that's basically all I know. Oh, and Jingle Jingle and the hill are really good friends. What business do we have there? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find a key, Torbeck. Uh, Jingle Jangle apparently is in possession of a key that will allow us to free uh, Sir, Sir Talamar, uh, a uh, uh, fairy dragon that oh, we came yeah, across when we rescued Ho uh, Hootsie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, we, 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 we have many loose threads going on at this time. Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't even begun to tell you about this like centaur we met at the very beginning of the carnival. Even. Like, there's just a million things going on. It feels like it was a lifetime ago. Yes, almost like it's been months. We need to find Lord Cloppington. Hmm? That's like plants. Z. Does, hey, does anyone want a small flaky meat pie wrapped in a colorful cloth? 
Oh, yeah. I found it in my pocket. Oh, well, that's great. What the heck? Man, Tormek was too slow. <laughs> this is yeah. probably going to be fine. Oh, yeah. Hey, that was delicious. Thanks. Oh, oh look, I found another one. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, 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 oh but Tormek is so very hungry. Oh, I, Oh, uh, no, you're fine, man. You can't possibly eat carbs with those abs. Oh, <laughs> very good point, Gideon. Bleh! Bleh! <laughs> Do you have another one of those for Torbeck? Sorry, it's just the two. <laughs> Torbeck needs to watch his figure. It's all right. All right, well... <laughs> I'm not sure why that happened, but let's continue moving on to the hill. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we move on. Hey, is it going to be weird if we walk all over this hill, but it, like, fanks and stuff? Maybe it'll be ticklish for the hill. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I'm worried about. It's probably going to be weird. Torbeck is more concerned the hill will enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Why are you thinking about this kind of thing? <laughs> We have to think around corners here. I'm just trying to anticipate all possible uh, outcomes. Oh. I feel like Mm -hmm. if it enjoys it, it's better than if it doesn't. Because then it'll say, oh, thank you. We'll do anything you want. As opposed to, oh, you have disgraced me by tickling my hide. I'll turn you into a horrible hill monster Mm -hmm. and break your mind. (laughs) Or it'll defend itself with the literal uh, uh, weeping willow trees. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they, they may be able to swipe at us with their bounds. Now, I think it's more of a metaphorical situation probably the tree yeah no they're gonna be like willows gonna be like oh i'm so sad Uh you know i mean that would make sense given the name Mm. Mm. so anyway we got a ghosty boss tweet on tammany hall let's go (laughs) (laughs) all right well i guess let's go the boss man, it's so precious. <laughs> I, I do one every other week. You don't remember what I did like four weeks ago? I, know. Yeah. I just did it real quiet. Just snuck, just snuck it in there. Yeah, it was just a quick one. Though. You never, you never pass up an opportunity for a boss man. <laughs> From the you great nineteen ninety nine. Towards hill. the hill, it is enshrouded in fog at the base. Uh, but as you move towards it. The fog slowly begins to coalesce around you and then dissipate. And you find that there is in front of you a walking path that seems to wind and twist up the hill. And at the very peak, you can see that there is very clearly a cave with a door shaped like a key. This was what had been described to you by Sir Talavar. And it is clear to you that this is the place that you were meant to be. You stand at the base of the hill and you look out. You are greeted by the scent of sweet-smelling fruit. Damp, downy, silvery-green moss blankets a gentle upward slope before giving way to a craggy ridge that marks the top of the hill. Dozens of enormous willow trees dot the hillside, swaying as though in a breeze, despite the absence of one. Mm. Oh. Uh, Remind me, Frost, do we know if... uh... This goblin's hostile. Uh, it could be either way, uh, jingle or jangle. Jingle jangle, we're friends. Hello. Oh, maybe do it in a native tongue. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this at the base of the hill. I'm shouting real loud. <laughs> Nothing happens. Ah, well, I guess I think we have to get closer. Now let's attempt to knock. But, well, ooh, ooh, good idea. And I will continue to shout in Goblin that I, I, will, I will announce that we are friendly to not run, to not hide. I will speak in Goblin. And you're doing this. So this is a. This isn't like a mound. This is a gigantic hill. It's, oh. like, it's almost like a small mountain. Oh. oh. 
And so you are at the base of this, looking up a winding path that leads towards the summit where there is very clearly a cave with a keyhole door. Save your breath. Let's walk up the hill first. <laughs> oh, you good call. I'm, I'm a little parched now. Oh, your tubes, is, is, now it's just like a blue liquid. I'll have some blah blast. <laughs> 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 oh, it's all fizzy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Are you sure we can, can't just... Okay, okay, okay. Oh. okay. Uh, all right. I'm a bitch. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay, one more. Okay. I'm gonna be here for an hour. Okay. You never get rid of all of okay. this. Okay. I've wetted my whistle and let's go meet Jingle Jingle. Uh, I would like you to roll on the. Uh, I would like you to roll a d20. Okay. You're drinking witch light. What do you think was gonna happen? Oh no! <laughs> Fucking oh, you. Oh shit. <laughs> No, you roll a D1. It's burst into four. <laughs> roll one. Yeah. <laughs> you die permanently. <laughs> you know, only because this, I'm not going to give you one. Only because it affects everyone else, and this is your fault, not oh, theirs. Oh, I can roll one. Roll again, please. A four. <sighs> You are incredibly paranoid and believe everyone is out to get you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you should be drinking that? Uh, who, who knows what effect it might have on you, Grico? Torek, why would you give this to me? Ah! <laughs> Grico, this is your fault! Torek! Uh, <laughs> Torek just listens to whatever Grico says! Oh no! Oh, Jingle Jangle is the big bad of the whole thing. I don't. We don't know Jingle Jangle. That's not. That we don't. We we, we can't determine. That. Jingle Jangle, we don't come in peace. <laughs> you don't get any cup of sugar. Get get. This is what we call a liability. Would you kindly knock Grico out? Yeah, I, would, I think I'll... it's uh. He, he's done a bunch of witch light things <laughs> off his fucking rocker. Yeah. Just one quick punch of the jaw. Like <laughs> oh, did you say would you kindly? I did, but yeah. I didn't use. My oh hands yeah. Okay. You would, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Grico, I'm coming for you, oh, man. No, this queen's gonna rip you. <laughs> He was right all along. <laughs> Sometimes the paranoid Did you knock right. him out? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just leap through the air and try and land directly on, uh... <laughs> on Grito's head. Oh. Hey, elbow out. Roll the hit. Try. Okay. Oh, I'll roll. Just to see if you do hit him. Yeah. You could miss. Uh, no, 20. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, yeah, you definitely hit. Uh, you don't knock him out, but I will say you make him roll on the dread table again. <laughs> You just knock the paranoia right out of him. Yeah, and right. something else replaces it. <laughs> and my I, my head spins around like a fucking loony tune. Uh, yeah. I like to think that he gets knocked off the screen. Fourteen. And, the <laughs> yeah. and then he's he like yeah, back yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the disc. I'm a little fluid well, platform. Your entire mouth is numb and you can't stop drooling. <laughs> This is actually better. Yeah, no, this checks out. This, with, this happened last time. And with that, <laughs> you step funny. on to Telemi Hill and you begin to make your way up the winding pathway towards the top. And immediately upon stepping onto the hill, you begin to hear a strange grumbling and mumbling. It starts very soft at first. In about five minutes into your ascent up the hill, you begin to realize that though you can't make out what it's saying, it's clearly words. Someone or something is speaking. No. Does it sound threatening or neutral? Um, roll an insight check. Good. Don't push <laughs> I think I'm pretty good at that, though. Oh, it's, uh, uh, it's an eight. It's it's hard to tell. It's so low. It's so quiet. And though there was no wind when you were at the base of the hill, there is a breeze that is rustling the leaves of the weeping willows, and the sound of that is making it hard to really understand what's being said. 
Bot, is that? Bot, is that? Bot, did you say? <laughs> 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 um, we should probably just continue. It's probably just Fay Wild stuff, you know. But, but <laughs> Rock yeah, Falls, we, back me up on this. Let's it just could have been anything. Oh, no, I think we should. Uh, That's the wind. <laughs> the Baja Blaha Blaha? Yeah. I think you say a Blaha Blast. blast. Yeah. It, uh, it's, it's made your mouth completely numb, I think. Yeah, it yeah. turned it blue. You have that to emphasize been... the blue. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right to continue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking cares, Frost? I continue up the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you do the talking. Uh, I know you don't speak Goblin, but uh, you're, you're good with words. Oh, God. Torvex speaks Goblin. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Torbeck would be glad to translate. Let, 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 let Torbeck talk. I'm going to let you guys talk for a while so I can eat some of this. Oh, uh, 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 hey, All the say? trees have bagels. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> can we take a coffee? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Can we take a coffee? Ah, oh, I may have struck him in the temple. <laughs> yeah. That's not where you want to strike me. No, it's not if you're trying to keep him alive. I'll say, oh, who is, who is it? Your, your, your feathers are covered in blood. <laughs> Gideon, you need to stop punching people in pressure points. You go kidney, pu- kidney punch. You go, you just hit someone in the jaw once. This is why was, you keep killing clowns. I was aiming for his shoulder, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so small. My, my spine is like sticking up out of my neck. <laughs> Ooh, that's not t- good. Uh, I, I feel like I should be remembering something about Popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't recall. <laughs> <laughs> and I just slump over. Oh, no, this Papa's gonna take a little nap. <laughs> No, he's, fine. no he's, he's definitely not fine. Uh, he's been worse. He's been worse. We probably shouldn't let him sleep. <laughs> A new clown has been added to the Honkly <laughs> uh, You are making your way up the hill. And Gricko is not unconscious or concussed. Uh, he, he, is, he was able to withstand the blow. Um, He's become accustomed. <laughs> though he may, his mouth is numb and he is drooling all over the place. Um, and he, he's wobbling a little bit on his feet, but he's, he's keeping his own. As you make your way up the hill and you eventually begin to notice something. That the path that you were walking, that you had clearly seen from the base of the hill that led all the way up to the door at the top of the hill is obscured. It's overgrown. And you don't remember seeing it that way. But it clearly mm-hmm. looks as if foliage has bega- begun to creep up along the path. You squeeze your way through it and continue forward. But it begins to get denser and thicker and harder to traverse until finally you realize that a thicket of trees all pressed together completely barred your path you spin around to head back the other way but you see that you're surrounded on all sides there's no place to go and that deep rumbling sound is more audible it's getting louder and louder but it's still hard to understand what is being said it sounds as, almost as if it's being carried along the wind that um, shivers uh, or shakes the leaves and the branches of these weeping willows. And just as quickly as it whooshes past you on the wind, you fail to grasp what's being said. Blur. Blur. Where did this come from? It's... I, I'll walk Wait. up and I'll attempt to touch some of the bramble to see if it's an illusion. Does it seem like it's uh, an illusory? It is very clearly not illusory. Well, it seems a a soft 
What are you doing? I don't know. Continue. A soft um, rain begins to fall. And it, Draco, you look up to the sky and you feel the rain splash down onto your face. It's refreshing. And as it hits your swollen lips and tongue, you feel the swelling begin to dissipate. Draco, be careful! Torbeck once almost drowned staring at the rain! As you begin to say this, Torbeck, you feel your voice begin to shift and morph. No! As where once had stood Grick, uh, uh, Torbeck the Autumn Aladrin is now Torbeck the Torbeck. Oh, why does this always happen to Torbeck? <laughs> Nothing gold can stay, pony boy! <laughs> no. The news of Lancelot in the future? <laughs> All of the trees alive. I'm still and it is as you touch the branch that you feel it move oh, beneath no. your hand. Clearly on its own. Not, not a brushing of the wind that is swirling around this hilltop. And then you hear it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you messing with my branches? I, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not trying to mess with your branches. I was You're trying to... stomping really loud. I'm trying to nap. I, uh, well, uh, uh, pardon me. We'll attempt to uh, 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 step more softly. <laughs> and it becomes very clear to you that that rumbling noise that you'd heard was the grumbling of this tree, this hill. <clears throat> speaking through the branches of this weeping willow. And just as quickly as that happens, on your left side, Crummy, no. you hear, oh, what are you doing? You're stepping on my leaf! Oh, 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 I step off of his leaf. Oh, and you see one of the branches shake out and, uh, <sighs> that hurt and smarts like the dickens! I, the trees are alive, everyone. This is, this is, uh, Mr. Hill, I think. Music. I love that play. Are you uh, Mr. Hill? Is that who I'm speaking with at this time? Oh, name's old. Tell me. You're telling Tell me. Tell me Hill. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. You said it one. Yeah. How long have you been waiting to say that? <laughs> Probably about two or three weeks. <laughs> Whenever we learned about Tell me. <laughs> Uh, You've made your way upon my hill. What brings you this way? Oh, uh, well. Without we're... my permission. Oh, I didn't. Uh, are we trespassing? I, uh, we, we didn't see any signs or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, there are no signs around here. Anytime, everyone always tells us we're trespassing. Nobody puts us by the damn signs. A sign would be painful in my body. Oh, that's, well, that's pretty fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Think of that. How would you like someone sticking a sign in you? Uh, it actually happens about once a session. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I take it because I'm tough. You're a big old hill. You're right, I'm a big old hill. <laughs> well, uh, I it... still wouldn't like to walk around with an eternal splinter. <laughs> oh, I, I do hate splinters. I've gotten a lot <sighs> of them. <sighs> <laughs> My whittling hands are like horribly <laughs> scarred and filled with yeah, ancient like splinters the, and the SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Paper, yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. It's the red yeah. and stimpy pants. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus. Um. Uh, do we? Do we hear? Do I hear it? Do we all hear it? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I think we all hear the hill. Oh, it's just talking, I mean, the trees are talking. Oh, yeah, well, the hill, for each like, of you, it us. sounds like the voice is coming from a different tree. Oh. But it, it's audible. It's mm -hmm. not in our minds? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, look, we don't mean you get any harm. We're just trying to get to the goblin that lives on this here hill. Oh, I guess jingle, lives on you. jingle. That's right. How is she? What business do you have with her? You don't come to torment the poor thing, do you? No, we have a business proposition. No, Jingle Jangle doesn't do business. No, goblins hate business. Oh, uh, we have goblins. We're friends. We're going to tell stuff. nice stories, and we're going to do something nice for her, because we heard she's had a rough time of it. Oh, that oh. sounds nice, Greg. Oh. So you heard about those pesky herringon? 
Oh, not Think only. Man. Drapes around hither and do as they please. Mm. Who do rabbits. they think they are? Yeah. They have no respect for their elders. No respect for Hivava. They were very annoying to us as well. We we sympathize with Jingle Jangle if they've been terrified. Rising well, her. did they push you into the swamp? Steal some of your keys and take all of the truffles you'd been rooting around for for days? No, actually, they surrounded us and bought our passage and didn't let us go anywhere as I, like, look around the circle of trees. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't uh, seem like they did anything wrong! No, no. Uh, <laughs> they, 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 stole, uh, they stole our souls in their old left sack. I don't know what that means. It was a filthy sack, and I've been oh. calling it the F sack ever since. They had to call like to a... tell us it was a robbery up front. They didn't even just rob us. Little jerks about it. I can't speak for them. I just know that they roughed up Jingle Jack oh, pretty no. bad. And oh. she's been afraid to leave her, her house ever since. Oh, does she have the taste for revenge? We could probably help over that, too. Now that's she's... a business proposition. We'll kill the rabbits, and we just need a little something from her. We're doing what? Killing the rabbits. We, we don't have to kill them. It's uh, revenge. Well, we, we should beat them up real hard. We, 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 we'll ask Jingle Jangle what the appropriate measure could be, let's say. We could break the legs, at least. I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah. The to legs. be fair, they do serve... I'll get you some pencils. Not Scabifer. <laughs> the other one. The other one. Uh, not Endolin. No, oh, is this the, the one that one. takes the best? The other Frosted one. watches her. Blotstraw. What? <laughs> what was your first name? <laughs> Mendelin, Bavlona. 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 Tormek is very confused. We really need to explain a lot of things to you, don't we? Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of hacks. Uh, Tormek has several questions, but now doesn't <laughs> seem to be the time. <laughs> so if we're going to help you, friend, do you mind letting us pass? Um, you have permission? I believe you just gave us permission, to, uh, Mr. Hill. Oh, did I? No, let's don't don't gaslight the poor old hill. No, 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 no. we're asking for your permission, oh great hill spirit. Uh, yes, oh. I, I'm not sure if you gave it. Uh, it, it what, 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 what? Oh well, in that case, uh, uh please. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, oh, thank you. See, who see? Remember, the magic word is always please, except oh. other when it's not dragon. Anyway, <laughs> you promise you're not gonna hurt Jingle Jangle. No. Why would we? No, no. You got no well, issue with Jingle Jangle. Yeah. I'll be keeping an eye on you, young whippersnappers. Two of us are goblinoids. What? I don't know if you can see us. We're, we're, uh, You're uh, Harry! <laughs> oh, you can see through the branches. You're a goblin, Harry! I don't speak really. goblin, so I don't know what you said. Oh, well, it was a traditional goblin. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, hello. My name is Hagrid. Who <laughs> <laughs> turns into P.S. on Hagrid? <laughs> That's disgusting. It's like two polygons. Yeah. Uh, you see Jingle Jangle step out of her cave. She's clearly PS1 Lara Croft. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 is oh, 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 oh. Well, hello there. Oh. I mean, I would love to meet a fabled archaeologist who finds long lost dinosaurs and just murders them. <laughs> and she's wealthy before she finds the, the treasure. It's remarkable. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Yes, so, oh, thank you. We were not going to hurt her. We, we have two goblinoids, mm -hmm. and not one of us hates goblinoids of any kind, especially hobgoblins. Huh? Hobgoblins? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she a hobgoblin? Um, outside of uh, the still walkers that shamble about the marsh, I haven't seen a hobgoblin in many, many years. That's good. Uh, oh. 
And you, what can you tell us about these uh, still walkers? They, uh, we were able to observe them uh, picking up eggs. Earlier. They work for hobgoblins? No, they are hobgoblins. No, fuck. They are uh, hobgoblins? Look, it's fine. It's fine, all right? What do you mean it's fine, man? They're walking around the swamps and they got giant cages of fucks on their back. <laughs> no, 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 they're throwing no, our faces. Eggs. It's a totally different word, kid. Wait, I think you uh, maybe have wait, something Wait, what still walkers? What are you even talking about? Oh, fuck. You were getting all muddy. Well, we have a lot to explain to him, too. Look, regardless. Well, Really no. not. I mean, it was just the. They are hobgoblins, is yes, what you're saying? They're hobgoblins. They, um. They're a peaceful lot. They, uh, try not to get into any trouble. And to protect their clan, they. go scavenging for eggs to trade the soggy court in a peaceful manner to pr- protect their people. As long oh. as they procure eggs, the soggy court leaves them be. Mm. And they, eggs, Just they eggs, They don't bother anyone who passes by, and if anyone tries to get rough and tumble with them, they scamper back into the muck. They let us go. They didn't bother us at all, Gideon. I remember, they saw us. They could have hassled us, but they didn't. Yeah, well, they probably could tell that I've killed a lot of them, you know. Well, a lot. What? Eggs are quite nutritious. So maybe they got some good, you know, advice for us. Nutrition advice. Foraging advice. About, like, eating square meals? Eating eggs, you know. Eggs are really more of a round oval shape. Look, we're just trying to help your friend. So if you let us pass... I already opened the way. Oh, well, what to do? Oh, could you let uh, Jingle Jangle know that we're coming and we mean her no harm through a tree branch or otherwise? I could do my best, but if she's deep in her hole, <laughs> I'll never be able to get the mess. <laughs> That's the theme Please of tonight. Please, God, don't say the word <laughs> hole again. What? <Wow. laughs> yeah. That Can I please, as a DM, use the word hole? No. no. It, it could be a not hutch. Now. <laughs> I'm not saying hutch. I like hutches. <laughs> it's not a hutch. Uh, okay. The hutch okay. mean anything. Oh, if she's, she's deep in her cave. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Is that a can't say that one either. Is it a wet cave? Is it a moist <laughs> cave? No, let's not talk about the moisture level. Yeah, you're not allowed to have anything that's phallic or Cavernous. <laughs> make, make your choices. How about room? Rock room. I feel like a cave is very appropriate for a goblin to be in. Goblins live in caves, for the most part, or swamps, or on the moors, or in a city. We're going to go up to a cave. We're going to pay a visit. We're going to offer our services, and we're going to help her out. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> if you could just let her know we're coming and we don't mean harm, so there's no misunderstandings. Thank I you. It's very, it's very nice to meet you. All telling me. We'll leave you be. And you begin to make your way up the hill. Uh, you do notice that occasionally the trees move in closer to you and you hear the, who oh, did I tell you about the time? But you, you keep walking, you <laughs> slowly hear the voice fade. And then I was 14 and I punched that kid right in the nose and you continue to walk. <laughs> yeah. 14 is young for a hill, I yeah. feel like. Oh, I'm glad that I didn't try to Tom Bombadil him. He probably would not have liked that very much at all. What does that mean? I would have sung a uh, cryptic song and told him to sleep, because mm-hmm. that is what he should be doing. Uh. Do you think that when he was 14, he was just a little pile, and that he's gotten hillier over time, or that he just emerged at his current scale? I, I would I would hazard that there's probably some great myth of folklore about how he was formed and how he gained life and he just been that hill the whole time. Huh? Yeah, you think when he when he said he punched that kid it was like a rock slide situation? Oh yeah, how does Oh yeah, punch? he's fucking yeah. dead. Oh yeah, like, he's I dead. Mean, it had to have been. Right? Yeah, they, was it like, was it a, like a kid hill too? No, no, no. It was probably oh. like an obnoxious kid like w- walking up the hill with his oh, sister to fetch a pail man. of water. Oh, like Chester yeah, Cheeks. Chester oh, Cheeks. like Chester Cheeks. Oh, they never man. learn. They never learn. I, 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 will, I, I hate Chester Cheeks. I never want to be embarrassed by a child ever again. <laughs> well, Chester Cheeks hasn't been buried in a rock slide, so he'd learn real quick if he came over to tell me. Don't, don't piss telling me off. He, he, full Metal Alchemist style, huge fists can come out of the fucking ground. <laughs> 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 be like, 
<laughs> was it the Legion dungeon of the the rock hands that would grab you? And <laughs> we make our way to the entrance of the um, opening, the doorway, the key shaped cave. The key shaped. Uh, you can't say cave. I think cave is very rock room. <laughs> the key shaped the, uh, the key shaped domicile. You yeah. you do make your way to the entrance of the cave. It is a key shaped entrance way with a small door. Uh, it appears to be closed, but from um, from a round uh, window, you can see that there are clearly lights on in the inside. Oh. You can hear the clanging of metal, uh, but peeking in, you don't see anyone or anything. Uh, the door appears to be open a small amount. It looks like you could swing the door in and make your way in if you chose to. I propose we knock to be polite. I'll take my cane and I'll rap on the door. Uh, excuse me, is anybody home? You you listen and there is no response. Just the sound of jingling keys. Maybe she doesn't speak common. You fellas want to try? Oh, God. Well, maybe she just thinks we're like, you know, we're the Heron gun. Come come back mm. and, and here to steal her keys or whatever. Just to, you know, expand a little on why we're here. Oh, uh, what to do. The name is Criminal Crew of Carnival Crew, and uh, we're here to offer our, uh, our services to you. Uh, hopefully we can come to some uh, mutually beneficial arrangement. Yeah, we're not evil marauding <laughs> rabbits. We're just like marauding collection of monsters. And feel free to say what I do back if you understand common. Jango, Jango will let you come in if you want to. Oh. All right, we will. Right, yeah. fellas? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yes. Thank, thank you. Jango, Jango welcomes you into her home. Uh, oh, all right, Jango, oh, Jango. Thank you. All right, fellas, come on, let's go. Lead the way. Oh, yeah. Hoochie, be polite. The young ladies first. Worn stone steps lead down into what feels like a cellar. It's chilly in here, and you detect a subtle scent of iron in the air. From a distant spot within the chamber, mm. sputtering candles illuminate a multitude of keys dangling from taut strings that crisscross the walls. Hundreds of other keys lie, lie strewn across the dirt floor. As you take in the scene, you hear the sound of keys jingling as a goblin emerges from the dimness. She wears a coat lined with metal keys and carries a flail that has padlocks for heads. She manages a faint smile and says, How might yeah. Jingle Jangle unlock a bit of happiness in your lives today? Oh, Torbeck is understanding things. <laughs> you guys are looking for a key. Well, that's exactly <laughs> right. Like uh, my good friend Torbeck just oh. said, we're looking for a key. Just one key. I see you got a lot of them. Jingle Dango's got lots of keys. If you look around the walls, you might be able to find one you like. Well, we're looking for a specific key, not necessarily one that we like the look of. Oh, Jingle Jangle's feeling a bit overwhelmed by that. Trying to find one single key in all this mess of keys is going to be difficult. What if we describe what it's for? Will that help? Jingle Jangle doesn't know what any of these keys is for. I just have this <laughs> unnecessary need to collect them all. <laughs> Wait, you just like pick up all these keys just from like, you know, round? The fuck? Does anybody remember what the, what the lock hole looked like? Uh, let me uh, go to my mind palace. <laughs> oh, do I remember what the lock key uh, lock looked like on oh. on the cage, and, and maybe um, can start to make an approximation? It was on. silver, and it was ornate, but it looked like it would fit just your normal sized um, bird cage key. Uh, jingle jangle. Uh, my name is Morning Frost. Thank you for letting us into your home. Uh, you've already been so Jingle hospitable. Jingle Jangle welcomes you into your home. You've already been very hospitable. It's already turning into Harley Quinn. It's just... so difficult. <laughs> well, I prefer so difficult. Harley Quinn. So. <laughs> uh, silver uh, lock. Uh, it was an ornate, um, you know, uh, filigreed surface. It was beautiful, and uh, it looked like a perhaps a, a medium size, not, not 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 quite this large, and and certainly nothing like a, uh, one of these over here. Uh, something in the middle. Does that does that start to narrow down, perhaps down to a dozen, or or does that feel still like more like a hundred keys that you have possessed? Uh, Jingle Jangle looks around nervously, um, and you see thousands 
of keys in this place. Trying to get from a thousand she to a is, hundred. <laughs> she is. I will actually show you what she looks like. Oh. Oh. So this is Jingle oh. Jangle. Oh, that's adorable. She's got a bunch of keys. Oh, so that wow. is Jingle Jangle. Oh, wow. She's, She's got, got actual padlocks flail. flail. That's a pretty cool flail. That is badass. Yeah. So that is her. Um, well, I guess my iPad doesn't need that case anymore. It'll make it easier for me, to be honest. Um... Um, and Man. she she looks around. She begins to pat her body. Um, you see that one of the padlocks has a key sticking in it. She was clearly playing around with it. Um, not the right size, but there are tons of them. Jingu Jangu could try to find the right key, but it was a horror. How do you oh, do Jingu it? Jangu, hello, oh, Jingu Jangu, hello, hello. Sad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere uh, full of keys and I got nowhere. Uh, I, I, oh, that's quite oh, yeah. Wow. Thanks. Um, do you think that maybe I could uh, try to give it a shot? You mind if he? You mind if I try a little something, something? Jingle Jangle would need some kind of. Well. I will consult. Oh, Reciprocity, oh. you Yes, know. yes, yes, yes. We haven't been yes. paying attention to the ones. Uh, uh, one, one, one moment. Uh, I perhaps have uh, just the thing for you. <laughs> no, is he going to take his clothes but off Jingle again? Jangle doesn't want you to just give her something because you feel like you have to, only if it's because you want to. No, no. How about an IOU that we're going to kill the rabbits that were harassing Jingle you? Jangle doesn't want anybody to be killed. She just wants to be able to ruffle around for truffles when she gets hungry. Are you sure? Are we are very skilled. They could be uh, here today and gone tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Jingle Jangle thinks that was a really funny joke, but it's really sad when it's talked about in regards to people dying. Well, we don't have to do it, hurt anyone. Uh, well, we don't have to kill anyone. I mean, like, if you want to root around for, you know, your mushrooms free of free and clear of being harassed. <laughs> <laughs> we can get it. Hey, 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 <laughs> oh, you did? Wait, the one we're, we're, we're you, looking for. You got it? Are you, that, are you uh, confident that that's that the one after my vague description earlier? Jingle Jangle knows keys better than anyone. Uh, oh. Well, I don't even need to do what I was going to do. Well, do you mind if we just take that? No, 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 no. Oh. The rule of reciprocity. She clearly still obeys the former laws of this land. Uh, I would propose that there, we make an exchange, Jingle Jangle. I Jingle have Jangle a, would really like it if you ha if you spent time with her and maybe had some tea. I think we oh. absolutely can do that. I would love yes. that. I haven't eaten in at least and 30 minutes. You know, I think we can really sweeten the deal because you've had a rough time of it. We can do something real nice. Are there any local animals, animals in the area <laughs> what are good at finding truffles? And if you would like one as a pet, we could go on a nice side quest to find you one. And so you will be very Jingle skilled. Jingle Jangle starts to cry. <laughs> Jingle Jangle can have no pets because Jingle Jangle's so obsessed with skis she forgets to feed them. Oh. oh. Oh, Rico, how could you? I look, I look over and there's like 13 cat bodies. <laughs> <laughs> you should have guessed by all the bones in the corner. Yeah, the bones. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, oh. I have an idea. Oh, oh wait. no, Tormex not putting on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Rico. You can't fool Tormex okay. twice. Uh, Plan H. Um, what about a pet that could feed itself very nicely around keys? Jingle Jangle worries it would eat her keys. What was that? Jingle Jangle worries it would eat her keys. Oh, yeah, that was the idea. 
<laughs> no, that no, can't she, happen. Oh, okay. She likes the keys. I mean, I just Jingle fall. Jangle doesn't really like the keys. Jingle Jangle's just obsessed with them because of what happened with Bevlo and a bright straw. Oh, oh. 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 Torbeck knows Bloody. exactly what you guys are talking about. <laughs> uh, well, let, let me explain. Uh, uh, Bavlorna. Bavlorna is a, the name of uh, an evil hag here. She's a gross here. frog. A gross uh, frog. And, uh, and yeah. Jingle Jangle would uh, recommend that you fuck this ex on his own. What are you doing? <laughs> really good you fuck. You're doing really good job. Say, oh, you bruv. It's sad, isn't it? It is hard. It. Keys, in it? Oi. Keys in it. Oi, bruv. Oi. Jingle Jangle would recommend that you find <laughs> Jingle Jangle says she would recommend that you don't go to Bob Warren asking for help. Oh, thanks for explaining that for Gideon. <laughs> You're welcome. I am Gideon. I know about Bev Lorna the whole time, man. Uh, no, you don't have to pretend, she, Gideon. It's all right. She's an evil hag what uh, drowned all the people here, took <clears throat> over this uh, hiver, mm-hmm. and uh, she has put up a soggy court, which we believe to be a bunch of frogs that have uh, very silly revolutions and behead each other quite <clears throat> ma- ma- Macabrely oh, yeah. and uh, as a political commentarily. Jingle um, Jangle thinks you've got the right of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. And and so and so she is gross and she has little uh, hers that bathe her and carry her around oh. and she's froglock and she's nasty. Ah, uh, anything we're missing here? Well, oh, she kidnapped Hootsie. She well. <gasps> They all kidnapped you, see? Yeah, well, she was a part of it. What is yeah, that all have... free of the hat. What does that have to do with the keys? Oh, she cursed Jingle Jangle to be obsessed with keys. Oh. So oh, anyway, it, we're not going to ask. That would happen? We're not going to yeah. ask for help. We can help you get these this hex removed. Jingle Jangle went to Bevlorna Bright Straw, Light Straw, it's so hard. Why do they sound so much similar in my head? Ooh, you're doing it's a really good cool. job. Though. Yeah, you could, just... I can't. I can't keep it though. Just keep trying. I believe in you. I think you're great. You honestly, you honestly, if you start oh, and then you slip, it's not going to hurt my feelings. My tongue is just it just wants to go there. It just wants to wrap oh, itself around Harley. Just say, just just say oh, and then oh, it goes oh, wrong oh, there. Oh, it's like oh, Kelsey oh, always oh, had when she was oh, doing oh, Hazel. She always had the um, oh no, <laughs> oh no. She had another one that she used to do all the time. That's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we need something like that, and I thought it was Skelta Jingle Jangle, but it's not. It's yeah, that, that's but, perfectly accurate for Jingle Jangle. Um, jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle went to Bevlorna and asked her to, to fix my paranoia. I always had a paranoia that I was going to be locked behind a door. See, doing it. No, all roads for, for me, all roads lead to uh, Lethica. So I, I, yeah, I, no, you get, I get. I'm gonna keep going though. She's just, she's just a, she's. Oh, she's a goblin. It's very nice. She's a New Yorker and like. Yeah, that's fine. She's a goblin. It's perfect. Uh, before you went to Bavlorna, did you also refer to yourself in the third person all the time? Oh. Or is that additionally? Uh, uh, Jingle a Jangle lost a sense of self. Mm. Huh. Jingle Jangle's completely obsessed with keys. Keys and, and third person in this. Is it something we can fix? Can we undo it? Is oh. it on some kind of contract? Is it some sort of magic that she's holding over you that we can sort of just, you know, nip in the bud, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, we, we may be able to uh, produce some medicine. Uh, oh, we left a twig at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Twig, Twig, do you, do you No, pray? you can just talk so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> um, I think her name isn't Jingle Jangle. I'll yeah, it f- is. That's what she keeps calling herself all the time. No, is she Is lo- her name Jingle Jangle? Jingle Jangle's my name. No, it's like I've been mind broken so much that I'm like, there's no, there's no Greco or Gods or Kings. There's only a gross. Yeah. And so if the curse, what if we figure out her real name? Perhaps that's will return her sense of self. Because Jingle Jangle is a key themed name. Mm. So we need to discover her real name. Well, it's discover her like self identity again. The, you know, the, the obsession with keys come first, or you know, was her name just Jingle Jangle? And no, Matt Lorna thought it'd be, hey, it'd be fun if I made her fucking obsessed with keys. You know, no, her obsession, name. her fear was being locked in a cage because you're a free bird. 
Jingle Jangle's fear was to be locked behind a closed door. Closed door, exactly right. So, she pro- did you go to Bivona for help? I'm the other side of a locked door. What? That's why your door is cracked open. Because you're afraid you'll get locked inside if it closes. Oh, she, we're making progress, nods. lads. <laughs> so, you went to help so you would never get locked. And she said, ah, wouldn't it be ironic if you were obsessed with keys? Where does she sound from? It's a little bit like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Anyways, she says, Ah, oh, now you're all about keys. That's ironic. And you lost your name and your identity and your true passion, which might be like, I don't know, watercolors or something. Oh, it's like a rain on my wedding day. It's a free ride. Wouldn't it be ironic? Oh, that's is nice. That, is that is that close? What you is? know what's really funny about that, though? Rain on your wedding day isn't ironic at all. It's just unfortunate. That's a good point. Like, that's not even irony. No. Mm. Oh, sorry for saying irony in here, Jingle Jangle. It's like it's like a frozen pea in your glass of champagne. <laughs> that's not ironic either. That's just unfortunate. No. It's a free ride that's already paid. Oh gosh. We already did the That's irony thing. That's just bad writing. But you're not allowed to just have your characters state how they feel. That makes me angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite moment. That's fucking funny. <laughs> That's very funny. I like that a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down right here. It's in Classic my notebook. That's really yeah. funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Something is funny. Oh, that's a good one. And yeah. he just casually gets. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Ah, yes. okay. You are quite so, funny. <laughs> we need to figure out Jingle Jangle. I don't even want to call you that because that's not your name. Uh, it's it's a, it's a curse. Jingle Jangle is Jingle Jangle's name. Uh, well, let's put it. Has it always been your name before you went to Bad Lorna? Jingle Jangle can't remember a time before <gasps> her name was Jingle Jangle. Ah, uh, well, well. So here's the plan. Look, how about if you give us that key, we'll take care of all this for you. And by take care of, I mean schmill the schmag, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Schmaker schmag. Uh, uh, what? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, you schmill the schmag? Doesn't understand. What's a schmag? <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Ugh. Yeah, what? Keeps, uh, what are you doing? It's okay, Jingle like Jingle. Violence. I don't understand them either. And you see his twig is sipping on some tea with Jingle Jangle, mm-hmm. and they begin to have a conversation out in the uh, off in the corner. Uh, Jingle Jangle, I have the perfect thing for you. Oh, you're you're going to join their conversation? Uh, Jingle, I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Jingle Jangle was just going to give Twig this key. Oh. Do you want something in exchange? I have something for you. Twig gave Jingle Jangle this other key. Uh, you had a key, Twig? Oh, yeah, I have a lot of keys. Why am I talking in this voice? <laughs> why does this do this to me? My brain starts turning into this. You know? this, is why oh, I, you know. this is why I designed Ice Bound so that no NPC is in the same place. You know what? So here's the thing. Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it now down. Now you here. know who's seen. <laughs> Curse of Strahd gave me a false sense of security and my ability to move from one NPC to the other. It's hard. And I was like, you know what? I can do it in this campaign. No, I can't. I believe you everybody. Really well. That's yeah, because they have. <laughs> if I keep every single NPC that acts, that would be fine. The Faye Wild Brooklyn. I'm going to call the Mario Brothers to fix my toilet. <laughs> I need you to stop doing that voice because okay. it's going to make it That's harder right. for okay. me. Okay, Hootsie, I'm a goblin. Now what we don't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, know? okay, well, you know what? It's over. She has no more voice. She's not going to answer oh, any more of your questions. Oh. Jingle Jingle had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we got the key. Yeah, we have the key now. Should oh. we take the others? Oh, well, we have to loot a body yeah, first. No, right, I definitely, I definitely have lots of keys on me because I'm running in, so all of my rooms have to have keys, you know. Oh, may you give us the grand tour of your cave abode? Why are you looking at me? I'm Twig. 
Oh. <laughs> my, I expected clam, and I got a, a muddy passage, so my brain is still all popsicle. Anyways. I, yeah, I also I'm crushed him saying. with my body and then elbowed him in the head. So yeah, I think yeah, he's yeah. just like, anyway. he's gone. But, uh, we're putting, we're piecing it all together. Uh, can we ask Jingle Jango? Are you still part of the conversation? She nods. Oh, uh, <laughs> Jingle Jango, uh, would you like to give us a grand tour of your uh, your subterranean dwelling? One jangle for yes, two jangles for no. Oh. Um, she just waves her hand around the room to show you that it is clearly just oh, a wow. very small so, circular room. Oh, I thought they the were just there were multiple rooms. Oh, no. I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> no, that was Twig game. who said she had multiple rooms in her end oh. and why she had keys oh. to trade Jingle Jangle oh. for a key. Oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Torbeck doesn't like to complain, but <laughs> this whole thing with Jingle Jangle is giving Torbeck horrific existential dread. What with the whole loss of self thing, referring to Torbeck in the third person. I mean, what's with that? Uh, it is extremely oh, possible that you've been cursed. I mean, me. but, but, I mean, is no one else concerned? To be fair, Torbeck, Jingle Jangle fell into the nefarious hands of an evil fey creature and uh -huh. was her mind was horribly warped against her will yeah. and her identity was totally ruined and destroyed. I mean, it, you don't gotta worry about it. Brigo, I think. Yeah, that's Brigo. nothing like what happened. Yeah. Like, oh, I think he needs, before even his transformation, uh, he was speaking to uh, in third person when he, we knew him at uh, the carnival. Uh, he, he's always referred to himself as Torbeck. I actually never listened to him before. I wasn't sure who was. Jingle Jangle is really concerned about what's going on. Fuck, I cannot do this. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, I cannot do this. Oh, oh Tobek! Uh, <laughs> banana! Here we go, here we go. Banana! Oh, good, good, oh, good, good. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, Jingle Jangle Bananas. just wants to unlock a bit of happiness in your life today. Oh. Not a sense of existential dread. Oh, it's not your fault, Jingle Jangle. Somehow this is probably Torbeck's fault. I mean, who even is Torbeck anymore? <laughs> Can you get some of that tea? Or just smooth him out. Jingle you know? Jangle will give you a bit of tea. Yeah. I think it will make you feel a lot better. It's a common kind of tea. So once you drink it, all of a sudden you don't have any more blood pressure. Oh, it sounds lovely. Any jingle Jangle. Oh, yeah, which? You want some blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the right amount of blood pressure. I feel like the, the machine's handling the blood pressure. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any choice of, of, of him not having a blood pressure. Torbeck's last name is Cheney. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Do you remember 2003? Yeah. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to restore everyone's sense of, of identity. We're going to return everyone's ego, uh, you know, in a good way. Jingle Jangle wants you to have a bit of information, though, if you're going to go out on this adventure so that you don't get into any kind of trouble. Okay. You're very generous. All right. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Jingle Jangle. Well, Jingle Jangle, is, it's important to her if you have a good time and you are happy and that can't happen if you're dead. Okay. Well, well, thank you, the goblin good. currently known as Jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle is curious as to why you call her the the goblin currently known as Jingle Jangle, since that is her name. Grico's convinced that you had some name before you were Jingle Jangle. She shakes her head. Either way, um, I think we can deal with this obsession with keys. Maybe Jingle Jangle referenced something else. Oh. Or maybe, you know, her parents were just into that kind well, of Well, I mean, it is quite a very common goblin name. I just thought it was a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just thought it was a coincidence. Your name's Jingle Jangle? <laughs> That's my name, too. <laughs> You're never gonna believe this. 
I mean, in my class of, of goblin of goblin tot school, it was mostly just jingle jangles and claw bows. <laughs> um, jingle jangle. Here, 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 here. Yeah. No. <laughs> jingle last jangle name. J. Last name. Jingle last jangle name. G. Yeah. Jingle <laughs> jangle H. Well, they're, all their last names are jangle. So jingle oh, jangle. Shit. Jangle. <laughs> just like oh, snakes. No. Uh, jingle jangle Schmidt. <laughs> jingle jangle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know why Schmidt is a very common goblin last name, but you know, Grim Grim here, Schmidt. <laughs> anyway, Jingle Jangle's not sure why you keep singing this song, but I'll go ahead and tell you what I know. It's a few things. If you're gonna help Jingle Jangle, you're gonna have to deal with Stag. Okay, with uh, Stag. Tag. Hey. Can you spell it? H A G. H I D I. Okay. Edge? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's H A G. H I H J I H I J I J H. She said we gotta kill Bad Lord, okay? You get it? A- right, that, write that down in your little book. J. H- kill H- the H- hag. It's all up here. It's all up here. G- oh, I, it's the accent. I get it. J- hag. hag, yes? Yeah, hag. Yeah. Thank you, Jingle Jangle. <laughs> hag. Miss Jangle? If you're nasty. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're not nasty here. Who's uh, in? Who's in? Uh, earmuffs. Uh, earmuffs. Uh, uh, Gideon uh, earmuffs on her too. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. So you're impressionable. Don't listen yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gotten out of control uh, somehow. So okay, so we have a Londoner in chat. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, you know? <laughs> Oh, you we know, love it's, you. Oh, it's, okay. it's the, um, <laughs> the rhyme and spine stays mainly on, on the pine. pine. Okay, but to be fair, that movie is hot fire, so. I agree, I agree. Okay, Mikey hasn't seen it. We still, I hurry, still. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in the in the Spanish parlance, uh, a siesta would normally be happening right about now. We could all take a break from working. It's actually really fitting no that we're drinking me. tea in a cave. Yeah, 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 this yeah, is the classic perfect. time the siesta oh, would be enjoying. Right. Take me back. Uh, are, you, are you familiar with the concept of a siesta, Grammy? <laughs> Derek puts in his two weeks notice for what is <laughs> So he can move to speed. I'm resigning. Sorry. Uh, jingle jangle. Um, thank you. Uh, yes. Hag. Yes, I got it. I, I, I know how to spell that. Jingle jangle wants you to know that the egg is a very formidable foe. Mm-hmm. Okay. But first, you're going to have to get through Brigand's tollway. All right, we have a plan for that. That's where the rabbits are, right? And Agden Longscarf is the leader of the Herringon Brigands. He wears a bright blue scarf and moves. Fuck! <laughs> he wears a bright blue scarf and moves as fast as lightning. Characters who head toward Brigands might encounter him. <laughs> you say he sells scarves? That's fucked up. That's pretty good. Bright blue scarf, fast as lightning. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he wears a bright so blue fuck. scarf and, and so moves as, as fast as lightning. Fuck off. Um, and that um, he, I'm just going to give you the exposition because oh, I cannot Thank keep you. this Thank up. Um, he is in some way in league with um, Babylon of Light. No, the F set. Um, that the Herringons are not to be trusted. Mm-hmm. Um, that we know that. <clears throat> They, um, just to explain their true evil and treacherous nature, uh, Jingle Jangle describes to you what happened to her <gasps> just three days hence. Uh, she was digging for truffles in the swamp when the herringons leapt out from behind the reeds and shrubbery. They took Jingle Jangle's truffles, <gasps> threw Jingle Jangle down in the mud, and whacked Jingle Jangle with wooden clubs. Oh, oh, my, oh, oh my God! Look that was amazing. excessive. Gang of people running up on one person minding their business and hitting them with a bunch of clubs and stealing this. Oh, wait a second. Oh. If Torbeck had a dollar. <laughs> 
They're fucking dead. <sighs> she then begins to explain to you about Brigand's Tollway, that you will meet it on your way towards downfall. Uh, it is a series of old wooden catwalks uh, that circle a giant tree stump. Ooh. The brigands camp atop the stump because it gives them the advantage of high ground. Ooh. That they will see you coming before you get there, unless you have some sort of a plan to infiltrate. Oh. That you cannot trust what any of the brigands say, because Agden Longscarf has the final say, and he reports to no one other than Bavlorn of Lightstraw. Oh. So whatever promises you were made cannot be counted upon. Well, I always already didn't care for that Agadin fella. That Agadin fella that I, I was trying to resist, but Kremi made us all give up our souls to the FSAC. So that was a big L for Kremi. But don't you worry, Jingle Dangle. When this is all over, we're going to be saying, It's over, Agadin. I have no high ground. <laughs> she then uh, imparts additional information on you that. Wow, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, I really respect the influence I'm choosing to ignore it. Um, she then, It'll definitely be burned half a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> She then uh, informs you that the if you're truly going to stop this, it's not just going to stop with Bavlorna Blightstraw. You will need to eventually make your way into Thither. And to do that, Vivre. there is only one way. The only, the only entities that are able to move between the Splinter Realms are the Hags themselves. <clears throat> and a few guides that have somehow found ways to make their way across. Oh. The only one that she's aware of and has ever met is a pincer-clawed scarecrow named Clapperclaw. <laughs> Clapperclaw <laughs> hangs around Downfall and he knows the way to the neighboring realm of Thither. And she informs you that Thither is ruled by a hag named Granny Nightshade. Ooh. Granny Nightshade. <gasps> and that is all that Jingle Jangle knows. That's quite a bit of knowledge, Jingle Jangle. Uh, um, I can call you Jingle. Jingle Jangle, do you know what... Uh, I already forgot his character's name. Clapperclaw. Uh, cla cla uh, Mr. Claw. Clapperclaw. Uh, Ms. Claw. Uh, do they prefer uh, favors or something that we can prepare ahead of time to trade or gift? Mm. That's a good question. Jingle Gretchen. Jangle's not sure. Oh. He's never spent much time with Clapperclaw. Will we be able to hear him coming from the clapping of his claws? <laughs> Come on, boss. Let me give him the clappers. <laughs> now that's going to be in my voice. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me the clap. <laughs> uh, she says no. Uh, uh, <clears throat> well, okay. <laughs> That's a lot to take in. Yes. Man, uh, you, you're a very nice info, <laughs> info dump voice. <laughs> <laughs> You have a very nice exposition. Mate, you, have a, you have a very nice you you have a very nice reading voice. <laughs> <laughs> you read real nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're the oh, read real nice. Yes. <laughs> um Jingle Jingle, you've already given us so much. You've given us the key we were seeking. You've given us tea, you've given us hospitality. Uh, I would feel bad if I didn't give you a little something. Jingle Jangle would love a gift. I reach into my pack and it goes from 78 pounds. 74 pounds mm -hmm. to 74 pounds. <laughs> one moment. Mm -hmm. 73 pounds. Wow. <laughs> As I hand you a one pound lock. <laughs> <laughs> Jingle Jangle has Fuck. never been so happy in a Rintoya life. I don't have the key for this anymore, and it's just Oh, been... Jingle Jangle will find a key for this lock. I was going to say, you could try them all in, in this lock, perhaps. She rushes over to you and hugs you tight oh, around the thank, waist. Thank you. You can hear the sounds of the clanking keys on her vest as they're, um, as they're smushed together as she, as she hugs you and pats your back. 
It's been a pleasure, Jingle Jangle. You're jangle. all welcome at Jingle Jangle's Cave any time you want to come by. I'll let tell me he'll know. <clears throat> Is there anything that... Can you think real hard about what mm. you liked before Keys? And we can find that for you and promise you to get it. Jingle Jangle Lord Keys! Oh, no. Oh, man, it's probably just truffles. She was out rooting oh. for truffles. We'll just get a sack oh, of those was... and bring them back. Ooh. Jingle Jangle loves a good truffle. Oh, yeah. so we should find the truffles you dropped and maybe bring them back here? Jingle Jangle didn't drop the truffles. Yeah, she got beat up. She got whacked the before she even got them. The truffles him. back oh. to their place. Fucking oh, stone. Oh, yeah. All right, well, probably well, eating them already by now, and Jingle that, Jangle will never get to taste them. That really, that happens a lot, actually. Uh, every town when we were in a when traveling they, circus, when they smacked me with their with their sticks, they said, "We's gonna steal from you right now," and then they did. Oh. Oh man, did they this say This is a robbery. Oh, that's it. Uh, oh, I hate those guys. And, then, and, then oh, they, and then they robberied me. Oh, that's how they we do hate, it. We hate robberies. And you know Jingle Jangle hates robberies. Yeah, and, and you know what? Poor Gideon. She's been robberied three times. It's just bad. Three for times? Me. Three times. What? They always know where to find Jingle Jangle on the Push it down into the muck. Probably the same and fucking they, rabbits. They say, we're gonna robbery you, and then they do. Wait, how do they know how to always find you? Because I always go on Wednesdays. Like, to the same place? Yes. To, to, oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, they learn to uh, schedule. Okay, yeah, These no. guys are sociopaths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everybody, it's fucking Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's the equivalent of Wednesday. Yeah. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. It's Get the, the sticks, boys! <laughs> it's the 15th day of the third month. We're going hunting. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, Jingle Jangle, we usually uh, don't want to get really into the weeds and get too pedantic, but I think it's time we I split some hairs. Jingle Jangle really likes that, really likes that word, pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know that was that was good. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was you. very funny. You know, <laughs> and this is, probably, <laughs> this is probably bringing back a lot of uh, traumatic memories from Gideon. Every single town we went to, Gideon would always f find these people who would. Uh, you can put them into the mud and you get beaten and have this stuff robbery from them. And there was always highway brigands. And it was, it was, it was Jingle amazing. Jingle Jangle hates brigands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe yeah. it. It was every single town we were at. I couldn't believe All it. All Jingle Jangle ever wants to do is bring happiness to me and you. Oh, and so sometimes Jingle. when people are mean to Jingle Jangle, it hurts. Um... Well, that makes Actually, us Actually, not just sometimes, all the times that people are mean to jingle jangle, it hurts. I mean, my heart's getting hurt right now. Uh, if we have, okay, hypothetically, <laughs> this is going to happen. If the rabbits did get killed <laughs> and you just didn't hear about it, would that be okay? Okay. Jingle Jangle's not sure because now that you've said that, Jingle Jangle thinks if the rabbits don't show up and beat the ever living shit out of her every Wednesday, then it means the rabbits is dead. Well, uh, I mean, you know, we could just come by on certain Wednesdays if it would make you feel better. And just like, you know, beat you up a little ourselves if that would help. What? Well, it's Jingle said, you Jangle know. is confused. Are you offering to. To protect Jingle Jangle on Wednesdays when she's trouble hunting, or no. are you wanting to beat the well, living go. shit out of Jingle Jangle yourself? I don't want that, but I'm starting to think that maybe because you always go out on Wednesdays and then it happens, you just kind of become accustomed to it. And so if it didn't happen, you know, you'd be like, you kind of miss it a little bit. Or else, you know, maybe. He's trying to establish some normalcy. Yeah, it's kind of like, hey, you know, maybe go out on a Thursday, you know, every once if in a while. If Jingle Jangle went out on a Thursday, she wouldn't be able to get the truffles. They only show up on Wednesdays. She's got a routine. Oh. Look, yeah. no, no, it's Jingle not her Jingle fault. Jingle Jangle has a routine. It's just that they only come up on Wednesdays. All right, we're going to make the woods safe for truffle hunting on Wednesdays. And we are not going to get into the particulars That's right. of how we're going to do that. Don't ask any questions. You're are you be promising safe. Jingle Jangle she'll be safe on Wednesdays to go truffle hunting again? Yes, well, like on the equivalent of Wednesdays. I so promise right. that when you go truffle hunting on the equivalent of Wednesdays, you will no longer be harassed by rabbits. 
Jingle. That's pretty good. When they Ooh. attempt to bomb you, do you attempt to use your flail? Jingle Jangle that a, isn't. A, that looks very Jingle painful. Jangle <laughs> isn't attempted to be robbery. Jingle Jangle is robbery. No, 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 no. no. When, when you are robbed, do you try to defend yourself with the flail? You have a flail of lots. You're holding it right now. Hey. There's like 20 of them. From all <laughs> it, we saw them. It looks pretty vicious. I don't know. I just. Yeah. Jingle Jangle is a pacifist and she does not want to get into any kind of fights. Why do you have a flail? Why a crazy weapon? Torbeck is especially interested in now. Because <laughs> it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it goes around. Really cool. It's enough for fun. No, well, I understand. Whenever Torbeck would find those poor people, he always said, oh, he somehow witnessed it all. And they was pacifist and couldn't fight back against the highwaymen that robbed them. <laughs> and... They just lost this stuff and would run out of town. And Jingle Jangle walks over to you, Torback, and reaches up and grabs your hand. Uh. Jingle Jangle is so sorry you've been cursed to not have your own sense of identity either. Uh. And she hopes that someday you'll be able to find it. And maybe if you kill all the eggs, you'll be able to get who you were back. And your name was probably Torback. Oh, the thing. Regardless Jingle of what Jingle. anyone was trying to tell you. Uh. We'll help you, I guess. Well, fellas, I think we know what's next on the docket. <clears throat> uh, I guess I could give you a pot and gift. I pull out a shiny metal case and I'll snap it open. How about a cigarette? <laughs> Jingle Jangle doesn't know what a cigarette is. How does Jingle Jangle use it? All right, just put it in your mouth. Good. Yep, here you go. <coughs> God, get out of my fucking house! I got a lot of shit to do. Torbeck <laughs> uh, would like a cigarette. <sighs> Yeah, if we fuck in the bedroom, I'll give you a cigarette after. <laughs> That's actually what the flail is for. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I don't have it. Okay, Mr. Krabby. I just really wanted the... the as just, long as none of that happened, I really enjoyed you when the happened. Matrix reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand that. Right now. <laughs> I've never seen the Matrix, so I just laughed at that because the way you said it was funny. Oh, yeah, thank agreed. You. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, there's, like, there's a key match. In the Matrix Reloaded. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Uh, Jingle Jangle doesn't want to smoke, it hurts her lungs, so she's not going to have any of that. You all can right, keep just, it to yourself. I'll just give it, yeah, you, it back. I don't but Jingle any, so. Jangle does appreciate the kind ah. gesture. Yeah, no, no, Krimi, read the terms of service. We can current tobacco. Mm. Oh, fuck, it says rather on the pack. Yeah, <laughs> key, earmuffs, hootsie, earmuffs, what, hootsie. What the fuck is the state of California? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a district in Galtica. You, uh, you haven't heard of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's a carcinogen? Yeah. <laughs> jingle Jangle knows exactly where that is. I'm doing it again. No, uh, Twig says. Yeah, um, that, that, that is in Galtica. I read about it in a book. Mm -hmm. But it's so weird because it's the only place in Galtica where all of the where all of the summer ladrin hang out. Where are we in the timeline right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was so cool going to Galtica before it was destroyed horribly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If only that mon monster kaiju hadn't destroyed it. And <laughs> Yeah, and that other monster uh, kaiju too that showed up and they just punched each other in the face on top of all the buildings. And then that giant monkey was climbing that one and had a lady in his hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah, mean, that sucked. Oh no. Yeah. They said he has got to go. Go, go, gloppy Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Yeah, I jingle, think we'll jingle, see we should stuff. probably go because it's getting late. Yeah, well, just. We have a deal, and you won't have to worry about them again. Jingle Jangle thanks you for your help, and you're welcome at Jingle Jangle's cave anytime you want. All right, fellas. Jingle Jangle hopes she brought you a little bit of happiness today. A lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. Yeah, and also bit. crippling anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fine because we're friends now. Jingle Jangle was just going to say she's so happy she's got friends now. Not oh. just the hill, but also all five of you and also Twig. Uh, Jingle, before we go, is there anything we can do for Telemy? Does Hill need like... Tidying or, or, or grooming or Jingle Jangle really likes telling me ill because he's really safe 
and he makes sure nothing happens to Jingle Jangle on top of his hill. And he's really funny and tells stories that I'm pretty sure never happened. Wow. Yeah, and oh, don't worry about it. I feel like but Frosty's setting up a gross joke I right think now. That <laughs> Jingle Jangle thinks that the only thing that would make telling me he'll really happy is to also have friends himself because no one ever comes by to talk to him, so he gets kind of lonely. Oh. Well, well, that walk was really long, and I had to water him once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh this God. time it wasn't my fault. <laughs> it wasn't my fault this time. No, we we were so close. Just one we were this close sit. to perception. No, no, it has to we were this every time. close. We were this close. <laughs> oh, you brought a watering can. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's the golden watering can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sell that for me. Oh yeah. my God, what's happening? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm the Lorax and I speak for the. <laughs> 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 oh, no! No! What's wrong with you? We're done! <laughs> Executive veto! Bye! Bye, Jingle Bangle! Bye, Bye, Bye. 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 See y'all later! Bye. Good luck with your flail. For goodbye, some Mr. Reason. Tell me goodbye, Jingle uh, Jangle. I love you, Matrix. Jingle uh, Jangle would say goodbye to all of their new friends and found family. Uh, how how we, long we is we the run, walk we to where we're going together. next? Uh, oh, it's miles. Well, if we were on a moving hill, perhaps we've gotten closer. To oh. Back. Um, it looks like the hill hasn't moved literally at all. We're in basically the same oh, space as we left. Shit. But if you look up in the distance. It's over there! Look what Twig sees! It's just a bunch of fog. But I think <laughs> if the fog moved out of the way, we might be able to see Brigand's tollway, though. Are we talking days or <laughs> weeks? Oh, look, a fog I can lick! No, no! Oh, oh it man. It tastes like pee! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God, God. Wasn't torment. <laughs> oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's where we'll end our careers. <laughs> that's where we'll end our careers. <laughs> In the YouTube video, can you just put a title card right here? Like, the party was unfortunately killed. It was terrible. Watch out, everyone. A little, uh... <laughs> oh, the fog's moved, you can't see it, it's pretty way. Well, let's go in that direction. <laughs> what? Uh, we're, we're, we're leaving, tell me. Uh, I mean, Mr. Hi. Hi, hi, are you alright? Hi. Uh, are you, you feeling well? Yeah. Uh, good, <sighs> good luck with your hill business. No, <gasps> no. Uh, ooh, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Hill. Yeah. Uh, would you like to accompany us on a quest to help our mutual friend Jingle Jangle get some vengeance on some nasty conies? She was very delightful. We want to do something nice for her. I, um, uh, I really like Jingle Jangle. It's a shame what happens to her on every day is similar to Wednesday. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, we need the high ground. You are literally high ground. <laughs> and you move. So, I don't think the rabbits will expect... Oh, they think they have the high ground. We will be on literal high ground. Oh, we're bringing a mountain to a stomp fight. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's exactly right! It's a mountain to a stump fight, see? Would you like to assist us in such an endeavor? Are you asking me to take you to Brigand's Tollway so you can rough up those ruffians that was roughing up Jingle Jangle on days similar to Wednesday? We, we may not rough them up. We're just going to put a stop to their uh, 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 robbing and injuring Jingle Jangle. You've got it, kids! <laughs> oh, Grandpa's got a high energy! Let's you feel go! the hill shake is all of a sudden 
sudden the roots begin to move up and you are shocked because you saw this hill move in its place. Yeah. It was very slow. But as the roots begin to pick up, they begin to rush forward and you feel like you are jolted as you feel this hill charge towards Brigand's oh hallway. Uh, the mist and fog is parting very quickly. The wind is whipping past all of you as you hear... Oh, Jingle Jangle! Oh, Ptolemy Hill is going to get his vengeance for you, baby! And that is where we will end the session. <laughs> Let's go! Ptolemy has gone plaid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for running the session, Nikki. Yeah, oh, that was amazing. so fucking You're fun. You're welcome. Oh, what a great fucking idea. Uh, Holy shit. We're not uh, done. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. Uh, Don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go anywhere. What's next? Whoever so, wants to talk about that. and Shield. What's the next in Shield? Whoever wants to talk about the description. We are going to talk about our favorite moments, our favorite jokes, piss or otherwise. No, no piss. And no, yeah, that's right. But we're going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we're not going anywhere. Uh, if you're going to uh, take off, we're going to be back on next Wednesday for another, uh, the, the continuation of this epic. Uh, uh, quest that we're on. Uh, in the meantime, we have a Discord, we have a Patreon, we have a, uh, a merch store, and you should just, you know, hang out. Yeah. Relax. That's right. Don't Anything I, else? I have, a, I have a proposition. Next session, I'm gonna put a glass of piss in the middle of the table. <laughs> I, no, you're not gonna do <laughs> that. And if you mention piss, <laughs> if anyone fucking mentions piss, <laughs> they gotta take a little sippy. <laughs> oh, God. That is against so many TOS rules. fucking disgusting. I don't even think you. we can say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we're just fucked. It's over. <laughs> that's what Twitch says. Enough is enough. enough is that enough. guy from five years ago <laughs> who's like, stream does oh, not come and you're <laughs> streaming in the D&D tag when not playing D&D? I'll just send you a fr I'll friendly report <laughs> you smiley face have a good day <laughs> he'll be like he'll he come finally back. got us <laughs> finally <laughs> they read my guy. report after all these years it's been five years and if you contribute 500 collective bits you can contribute to Pissed of Fate which <laughs> <laughs> no no that's not gonna be a thing <laughs> that's not gonna be it's a not thing not gonna be a thing that's, that's, really, good. Good. that's right. really good I'm though. surprised that it took me this long yeah let's, let's, let's chill yeah 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 we're let's gonna chill. cut over don't go anywhere I'm gonna get some some fried rice stay tuned